Welcome to another episode of Please Leave This. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's good, brother. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> he said he judges his white cowboy hat. First of all, I've all never right, seen a white cowboy episode. Hat. Right. Nelly did a song, a country song. Yeah, he, that was Killed those. It. Yeah, that was nice. Neo did a country what, song. Country grandma? No, no, no. Um, um, over and over again. Yeah, that was a song in my head. That was fine. Neo no, has no, one no, with a country Lil Nas person. X. Little, I'll even take that. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> So if anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about before what Darren a, gets to give the intro. What in the fuck is that? <laughs> Kanye. I told you this was just a lifted. I told you this was shit for the kids. You will not walk across that stage. You won't slide across that stage. <laughs> Motherfucker can't pull, pull you across that stage. LL. LL. <laughs> that was good. Oh, Thank you. Fuck. We are we just finished listening to oh, the song, God. some country song by Brad Paisley featuring LL Cool J called Accidental Racist. Jesus Apparently God. the song is like six years old. I just heard it for the first time this week. So did I, I just let Darren hear for the first time. Bim's heard it before, but he's re-triggered. <laughs> <laughs> The song is bullshit. Look it up, but don't look it up on a streaming service. We don't want to give them no more money. Look yeah. it up on like YouTube or some YouTube bullshit. That shit. Um, I man. hope there's not a video for this. Oh, oh my god! Don't do it. Watch <laughs> 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 well, looks it up. Episode eighty-eight. 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 Eighties, my nigga. Yes. Welcome to another episode of Please Delete This. Mm, please. <sighs> that needs to be deleted. I need some snacks. I know, <laughs> man. And, oh, uh, I was supposed to bring grapes. Fuck. Where that in the car or in the house? Oh. He said, "Bring the grapes, wash them off, take them with you." In the basement, uh. <laughs> you have Darren, Ben, Genevieve. Also, you don't sound like that. Don't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you correcting yourself. That's love. Because she knows she gotta get, she gotta hear it. He was like, "I sound like that." <laughs> yeah, so I get I gotta, that all the time. So I got it. I got it. Oh, you, you get that too? Yeah, that's why I sound like to you. You um, haven't gotten that yet. Nah, she's oh, she's so great now. Like, I'll go to her spot, she'll be listening to the pod, and she don't ask me no questions. Really? Except for the underwear thing last week. She was like, yeah, no, I do, no, uh, underwear matters. I said, oh, like, nice ones? Uh, no. Just ones without holes. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so not necessarily some fly shit. No, just yeah. some shit just that don't, notice, don't look clean. like I'm homeless. Yeah. All right. Which I can do. Right. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> it's a work in progress. I'm working on it. Just maybe by the time me. you hit 40, you'll nail it. Maybe, maybe. As I am. Yeah, take me as I am. Darren I spend money on mad shit, but not boxers and undergarments. <laughs> Darren and his Negro spirituals. <laughs> he do, and he sways with Every it. Every time. <laughs> Every time. You were listening to episode 37 the other day, which prompted me to listen to it today. Mm-hmm. And we broke out into Unforgettable. <laughs> the mm-hmm. way we broke is so great. Because this guy was trying to stay on track. Oh, you asked. And then you were like... That's why, darling. And this guy, ah, oh, fuck it. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good people. Hope all is well with you on this uh, nice and cold uh, Thursday for us, but Friday for you. Fucking hell. How goes it, friends? It's going, man. Motherfucking well, tight. It's going, man. It's late for us right now. But um, yeah, I had to work the late shift this week. I apologize. Yeah, I was going to say, you're still dressed for work. Came right out of work, got man. A little night walker. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I'll take it. That's what you do. I'll take it. That's how you make yeah. that money. Hey. Honey. <laughs> Honey. Um, You still, oh, we can talk about it off mic. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, God dang. Weekend? Oh, my weekend. My weekend was great. Thank you, Ben. Winnell had her opening. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Hey." laughs> soft opening. Yes. Ow. Of Tender Yoni. Yes. Jen and I and, and her darling were in attendance. Very successful. Winnell was, was emotional. That was... I, mean, I call but him I darling. Did. I call him darling. I know fine. that you guys call him what darling. What am I supposed to say? I don't know. Can I say his name? Can I say the letter? <laughs> I mean, we can stick <laughs> Until with... I get clearance. Uh, he's I mean, darling. I mean, darling is fine. I just, nah, it just sounds I'm... funny when you guys say that word. And her darling. No, see, he, at least he refers to it as your darling. I call him darling. darling. I know. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, we went to the soft opening of Tender Yoni. <laughs> I always feel like if I see him in person, man, what up, darling? <laughs> <laughs> Good, darling. You good? Oh, you good? <laughs> you know you're his favorite on the pod. Really? Oh, over her. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> I, wish, I wish. I want to know why, but because you're hilarious, apparently. Oh, Darren I think you're funny, funny too. Darren's Thank funny. You. Yeah. I think you're funny as shit. Thanks, guys. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking circle jerk <laughs> over here, just leaving me out. Oh, yeah. Fucking jacking each other off. <laughs> I'm you over like here. <laughs> 
<laughs> sorry, baby. It's your turn. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Don't be a crack or something. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, take this flashlight <laughs> and shut up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> Over here by myself. So, yes, we went to... Um, <laughs> to the Yodi. Shout out to her. Shout out to Winnell. Good luck with this whole endeavor. This is exciting. Everything was beautiful. There were people in attendance. Her brother was there with the food, which was delicious. Yes. So um, shout out to DC. Uh, food on deck. Food on also deck. shout out to um, Black Leaf Tea. Black Leaf Tea. I can't remember her name though. But the tea was delicious. I gave it to Dream today. She enjoyed it. So we'll begin. Tea bag smelled delicious. Tea bag. Mm. Jen got tea bagged. Mm. Uh, yeah. Someone pointed out to me that I, I missed that opportunity to like tea bags at the. Come on. Can we right have, there. Come on. Can we have her on the show? Oh, we can. I think she just did um, uh, uh, Spark, yeah, Spark Up. Spark Up, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout, Shout out to y'all. them, too. Ew. Yeah, they, they get some high-profile yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, they had um, uh, uh, Mary Mayor Larsa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they just got and the, the dude who was on the rap show. Yes. Well, flawless. And they also had um, Miss Rhode else. Island. They did. Yes, that's who it was. All I? within like the last two Why aren't yeah. they on a network television show? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, like Channel 6 or some shit should have yeah. these guys They on. should definitely take over and get rid of the road show. I hate that, that shit. That shit is trash. I hate road show. The road show. Holy shit. Mm. I was at the eye doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the eye doctor and that shit was just on. I was like, We're right. never gonna be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a TV. We have the internet. You know what's funny is I I watched their interview and I'm like, we should have guess of substance. No, ah, no, no, no. no. See if there's any we'll porn stars. They're, they're, they're professionals. <laughs> We're about serious about that. Yeah, I'm I'm very serious about having a porn Let's star. Let's find the leg lady. <laughs> the leg With the lady. Leg lock. Hey, anybody oh, know any porn yeah. stars? Yes, there's actually was somebody I was on Twitter that kind of go back not to you too. Oh, <laughs> if anyone knows any porn stars who want to be on the show, hit us up. Go ahead. Mm, I think that'd be daring, and uh, I'm a I'd big fan. I'd have to fan. sit over there. <laughs> daring, she wouldn't be performing. No, no, I still would have to sit over there. <laughs> like so, <laughs> I'll be right next to her looking up the video. <laughs> this, is, this is you, huh? You do your own stunts. Um, yeah, so oh. Tanioni had a great thing. Oh, sorry. Um, also, uh, 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 fuck. Hmm. Ashley, yeah. who did her desserts. She was there, Sweet another sweets, vendor. Yes. And then we also had... Um, uh, the bartender. With the alcohol. Oh, fuck. I have her card. That's my... Damn, damn, I'm tripping. Oh, damn, Bim. Damn, I know, I know. But I know her. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> fuck. Man, yo, yeah. It just, so, Winnell did a great job. Is it the oh. LL thing that got you all messed up? I'm right fucked now? up by that. I'm not even gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Um... But yeah, Winnell did a wonderful job of bringing in businesses. And then she even gave a little shout out to the podcast yes. because we pulled the winners yes. um, for the uh, for the coochie cleansing. Esther Jasmine. Esther! God. Resilient me. spirits. That's Esther. Yeah, look at your oh. eyes. I know, I know that look. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. What, well, Jen? I just, I, I, I know her. Not know her, no, but I've worked with her before. But yeah, she's a private, she does private bartending. Good. Shit. So when you're having a soiree here at your uh, estate, you can hire like Esther, that. right? I'm saying And that. she'll take care of the um, the beverages for the evening. You know what I'm saying? Libations. The libations. She has a like crew and all of that. Oh. So it was great. It was a great um, event, great vibe, and uh, t- much success to Winnell. Yes. And uh, uh, the lady will be hitting you up for a consultation shortly. Thank you. <clears throat> awesome. And uh, what else I did over the weekend? I chilled like a motherfucker. You know, I, I, this was the first weekend that we didn't have nothing to do. Like nothing? Nothing. And nothing. I didn't step out the house until Sunday night. That's what's up. <laughs> and I was just to walk my mother-in-law to the car. I was going to say, what does one leave a Sunday <laughs> night for? At that point, just you should to... just commit. <laughs> <laughs> just had to walk my mother-in-law out. I didn't even get off the porch, to be honest with you. Like, All right. Okay. <laughs> my little, mom. little kick down the stairs. <laughs> My mom, all right, all right. Did the grandmother wave? <laughs> Hand on the hip. Put your sweater over here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so no, I had a great weekend. Oh. I, we did next to nothing. Yeah, y'all earned it uh, because that Jamaica shit, yeah. you need like a month off of life. Yeah. <laughs> we, bringing we did, all seven I, people. We, we watched all three Toy Stories. Wow. Oh, Disney Plus. Disney. Oof. Yo, I love that shit. Yeah, I love that shit. Hey, it's man. crack, yo. It's all my nostrils. Let me get some more of that dark way duck. <laughs> yo, it felt good to fall asleep to Chippendale's Rescue Rangers, man. Come on, man. man I watched a little tailspin on mm. that one. Shit. A few it episodes bring, of Smart Guy, I had that running. It brings you back to your youth. It, it's like, wow. Isn't it crazy how you could not hear a song for like 10, 15 years, and then you hear it, and you just... Yeah, just, I heard Under the Sea today, and I was just... Oh! <laughs> Please play the play the day child the shop the da 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 da. Speaking of, you know what's hilarious to me? Blowfish blow. Sorry. 
that Drake voiceover that I put up and how like people thought that shit was real. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious. <laughs> Whoever did that voiceover <laughs> deserves <laughs> first of all. accolades and praises. First of, <laughs> first of all, Jen. <laughs> Genevieve, <laughs> Amanda, <laughs> high five your friend. That shit had me. In, I don't even know how many times I watched that. Nigga. shit. I had it. I just put my phone down, let it play. Yo, <laughs> and the timing and it the was perfect. <coughs> oh, thank you so much for that. He said, <laughs> he said "I'm not Frank Ocean, <laughs> but I live under the sea." <laughs> And then the dramatic pause after that. Oh my he said, God. "All right, you guys don't know art or Jamaica." <laughs> <laughs> People thought that shit was real. Like Drake really said that because it's funny because he could possibly he say could that. possibly say that's that. That's what makes oh, it so God. funny. Just not in oh, that voice. Said, but I'm under that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. People thinking it was real was the cherry on top. That I was, didn't need anything else. No. But that shit. Hey man. Listen, oh, fuck. I'm I'm reading my comments, so I had to change the caption because I put it on Instagram and Facebook. I had to change the caption on both. Oh, this is a voiceover, and people still commented, "Really? Oh my god, <laughs> yo, that shit was hilarious." Oh, so fuck. thank you to all my friends. <clears throat> and thought that was Drake. real. But you guys know what that was from, right? With that, yeah, the title of the creator. And he I got booed or yeah, whatever. Because they shit. thought it was Frank Ocean coming, which that's kind of funny. Right. It's like, oh, we expected Frank Ocean. Drake, right. <laughs> like you would think he was like some dude right. that's down the street. Shit. Yeah. Well, so I mean, uh, and apparently there was some history with um, Tyler the Creator and Drake where they were kind of you know throwing little shots before, and they never publicly reconciled oh, all that shit. So his fans ain't his fan, right? So you know the people that will hold on to shit, yeah, even though they're not that's personally good. involved. Captain. And some people just don't fuck with Drake. I wouldn't boo Drake though. I wouldn't boo him. I'd never boo Drake. I mean, hey, it's Drake. Yeah, but that I was mean, shit. you first of all, you didn't pay to see him. That's a bonus. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so the fuck. It's America we live in. We complain about some free shit. Yeah, it is. Free wild. Drake. It is a wild. free Canadian on the stage. A free Canadian. <laughs> so I went to go pull up the clip and I, I guess I haven't been following Jen because I see like a pair of titties doing push ups. Yes. Oh, the push up bra. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, I didn't. It's hilarious to me. I'm like the boobs, got, the boobs got sneakers on. <laughs> it's my life. I ain't even noticed that. Look at your line of work, just, <laughs> just directing your life. <laughs> Which line of work? The boobs or the sneakers? What line of work do you have? <laughs> Wait, one more time. <laughs> Wait, one more time. One more time. Let me do a Jamaican accent. I, y'all know I can do the best Jamaican accent out there. Can I do that for y'all? I'm not Frank Ocean, but I come from under the sea. All right, so y'all know I'm Jamaica, so. Holla. Can, we give, can we give props to the voiceover? I don't homie? know who did it. Because he actually has a good voice. He sounds like Drake. Under the sea. He landed that shit, yeah. It was a graceful little like. Mm. Cause you know, Drake be hitting that random note, and you're like, "All right, yeah, all right, all right, all right cool. I see that. I'm following you. Take all care." Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, oh, no, see. Marvin's room. Oh fuck! <laughs> fuck that nigga. Oh, anyway, oh, shit. so Jenny, do anything this weekend? Ooh, any sunsets? Or I sunrises? feel like I did something uh, besides go to Tender Yoni. Mm. You were out and about. I feel like Sunday. Stalker. Or well, Saturday night. Sunday night. <laughs> oh, you did go out. Where'd I go? I don't know you Saturday with, night with, with you Helena went, Face. Yeah. Oh, wait, where? We went somewhere with Helena Face and uh, Oh, we went to 148. Miss Triple B. Yeah. Which, by the way, shout out to Triple B. Triple B's is having a sip and exercise event Sounds on dangerous. December 14th. Sip what? Alcohol. And then what? And exercise? Well, no, you dance first and then you uh, you drink. Kai come oh, after. Okay. And just drink. <laughs> yes, you, you can pay and just yeah, come drink. She actually yeah. said that to me today. Well, she said that to us in the group chat. She was like, you know, if you don't want to. Where is that? And when? Hey, that's a good question. The 14th is a Saturday? Saturday. Okay. Right. Let me get the information Morning? together. Is it, no, it's it at 4 o'clock. Okay. I'm, 4 to 7. I, when, I, when my leg is better, I'm doing everything. Yay, you know, I felt bad wait. the other day when I was listening to 37. I was like, oh, he could he could have walked at that point. He was still walking at that point. I, I didn't mean it in a bad way, but I was like, yeah, I just. How different life was. Yeah, it's just. Because <laughs> at first I was like, how do you get. Th- oh, mm. yeah. All right, so it's Fit and Sip in the Club. Ooh. Get ready for the hottest mixed fit and Zumba party in Rhode Island. Yes. Uh, it's a 21 plus event. 
Dance, Drink, and Chill, December 14th from 4 to 7 p.m. Vibe Lounge mm-hmm. in Pawtucket. Advanced tickets are $10. They're on sale until 12, 13, 19. At the door, they're $15 per person. It'll be super fun. I believe the workout portion will be for like 4 to 6, and then it'll just be kind of like hanging out at the lounge from the 6 man to 7. Man, they get sweaty just kicking it. I'm with that. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, or you, once again, you could just come and sip and drink. It'll I'm going to come sip and support and yeah. sip. Me too. I bought my ticket today, so. Oh, so you're going for sure, Darren? You yeah, going for I'm sure? Yeah, I'm sure to go. When y'all pick me up so I can get drunk. Hey! It's, it's the same day that the fourth, I mean, the 14th, the 11th drops, so I'll have to do it. Which 11th? Breads. They just dropped on StockX, didn't they? I don't know what the fuck StockX does because they just be doing shit. Mm. But. Oh, no, not StockX. The other thing um, with the. Sneakers. Sneakers app. Sneakers yeah. did that last year, too, where yeah. something was coming out and then they were like, oh, they just dropped it like a month or two before. And everybody's like, oh, hit me up. Oh, shit. They came out. I'm like, no. I think That's weird that they would do that when it's coming it's out. It's coming out. I think it's kind of like a teaser to get people excited, to get them hitting up people. Yeah, so they only they only release like a few pairs when they do that stupid. But yeah, they officially launch on December fourteenth. Do not text me. Word. You will get ignored. People Leave already get alone. ignored. So if I call instead of texting, like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want. Them. I, don't I don't work in a store. Is, I can't help. Is you. WhatsApp still texting? <laughs> <laughs> it is in- encrypted. But yeah. So if anyone has questions, men's sizes are two twenty. <clears throat> grade school sizes are one seven two twenty. Uh, preschool sizes are something less than that, and toddler sizes are probably like ninety or something. Shit. Seventy something. So. I'm good. But yeah, so after the launch, I'll be going there. All right, we know. Um, yeah, so after we went to Tender Yoni, um, I was like, yeah, I want wings, and um, we went. I had a, my friends. I'm like, yo, where's everybody at? And I'm like, I'm going to 148, and Helene's like, oh, I'm already here. So we went and we had a good time. I seen. I was enjoying. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Man, I was we, like, oh, shit, I wish I was there. Because we know. was already drinking. Yeah. Like, for Tender Yoni, and then we, we and were. then we were drinking Crown Apple afterwards. And then we went there. And that was a late night for y'all. I know, right? <laughs> Nigga, Sunday we took the illest fucking nap, dog. What? Yeah, no, you earned it. The Patriots played at 4.30, so we got to sleep. And Sundays I make big breakfasts. Did you do it, though? Oh, yeah. A Sunday? Most Sundays. Damn, that's a reason to keep you around, huh? Wow. <laughs> I'm just trying to be relevant wow. in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know. I'm tired. I'm getting sick and tired of her shit, though. But so that like, bacon, you know, though? Damn, but it's, that, it's that Friday. Sunday, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Cook two it, packs of bacon mm. and a pack of sausage. What do you. Wait, 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 Two. Two packs of bacon? Yes. When you say pack of bacon, you mean like... There's like 30 things in a one pack. Of no, not, not that. Not like a BJ's pack, like a regular... Like, like, like you know, at a grocery store, you just mm-hmm. grab a pack of bacon. Like, yeah. It comes with like mm-hmm. several strips of bacon. Mm-hmm. 15. Mm-hmm. You say you cook how many? Two of them. Two packs. One for it was a special pack. Sunday. That nap was real. Hold on. He, but then also... Your body was struggling with all the sodium. A pack of sausage. My chest still hurts a little. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, like, what sausage you buy? The box of sausage, it's like the? a pack of sausage. Like, how many in the, in the thing? Um, I want to say fourteen. Ten. Hmm? Okay, well, no, it's fine. Dad, it's fine. So, <laughs> <laughs> I love making breakfast. I don't cook, cook, but I make breakfast though. So, is it just I make the, sandwiches and breakfast? Is this a two y'all? No, no, no. His kids are there. All right, okay. two, two of the, no, the boys. Okay, that's better. That, but I get better, it. but golly. I, how old are the kids? If you don't mind me, you can't. No, okay. I mean, but that's, that's a lot. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, of yeah. It's fine. No, no, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so but still, there's four people. This five. Is everything five people finished by the end of the day? Mm-hmm. End of the day or end of the, like sitting? We're getting too far into this. No, we are not because the list is at the edge of their seat at this <laughs> breakfast this. smorgasbord. That was only the beginning. <laughs> what? <laughs> beginning? Oh, right, because you can't just have. You know, so you can't just have the meat sausage. What else is there? Pancakes. You make pancakes. I made them thick this time. Mmm, more filling. Sometimes I, I prefer thin pancakes, but I made them thick this time. And you got to put the butter in the pan so they like mm-hmm. crisp up a little on the mm-hmm. edge. Yeah, yeah, I know. Y'all yeah. understand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, <coughs> scrambled eggs with cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? Um, part of me is jealous. I'm out. Cause I, why not? 
You don't all like that, breakfast? All that sodium would kill me. Since when do you care about sodium? I, <laughs> since my doctor <laughs> said literally I was on the verge of death. Nah, oh, not really. Fine. I love breakfast. Me too. So the eggs, eggs and pancake would have been all. And then all you, me. you gotta put salsa on the side of the scrambled eggs with cheese. Hold on. Do you, do you have like a bagel or bread? Oh yeah, I have bagels. Okay. Ugh. What do you need a bagel uh, for? For the <laughs> eggs. What do you mean? Make me, oh man, a sam- uh, uh, Toast, bagel, toast I get, but bagel? Egg cheese and like I have, like I'll, I'll, I lie to myself all the guy, time. I'll be like, I can't have any bacon. I'm gonna take a piece. Uh, eat a piece. Let me just eat the other one. While I'm here. <laughs> so once again, that nap, nigga, fam, body was extraordinary. Struggling. So okay, so here's why I'm jealous, right? And it's not like I can't do it after church, but I go to church on Sundays. Saturdays are usually like, damn, Friday was a little exhausting. I'm just going to chill. I'm not going to get up on Saturday doing nothing crazy. Sundays are the best day for such things to, to occur. After church, it's not the same feeling to come home and then do that. Because you're already up and about. Got to be in your PJs. Got to roll out of bed. Yeah. Right, let me get to this. I would love to do that exact same thing. You're jealous. I am. You should a be. whole pack of baked Two. Bagels. <laughs> <laughs> Cream cheese. Cream cheese. <laughs> Sorry, babe. I know. I know. I'm getting too into our Sunday <laughs> routines on this podcast, but I love breakfast. This is fine. It's only so thing, good. though, I love pancakes, but I would have to have French toast as well. I've done French toast. I think I did it like a couple weeks ago. But I feel I, like I, I like to go back and man, forth. Jen, you like to cook because I feel like making all that plus French toast. That's that's a lot of effort. I think a good hour in the kitchen. She's like, I got this. (laughs) I was about to say something bad, but I was. He ain't got to ask me. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, yo, high five me. (laughs) Yo, I wouldn't even ask. I wouldn't even ask. Swear to God. I, in my head, I'd be like, man, I can't ask after all that. Oh, ah. my God. He's going he's gonna to make me quit the podcast. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I it's thought about life. it. I thought about from when you make your exit from the podcast or we kick you off, whatever comes first. <laughs> I would love to have Ari Lennox on the podcast. Who's Ari Lennox? The singer? Yes. She, I don't, I, I love her. Where would you find her? I'll find her. Find her. I'll get her. Okay. Get her. I'll get, get her. her. She's the I'll only. I'll quit right now. She, no, you, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> She's the only, only, only person, and I've never. I didn't think about this, but like she has. Um, been going on Twitter rants lately, talking about she's going to quit music, blah blah. But then she'll do other shit. Like somebody asked her how she met J Cole, and she told this made up story about how she was. Uh, Walking in China and she ran into a goat herder. That's what shit I would a do. A furry goat herder. I would make a whole story up. And then she sang a song and then now they're together and yeah. that was J. Cole. Yeah. She's amazing. I love her. Where's she from? I don't know. No. She's not, no. she not from here, right? From where? Here. Like Rhode Island. No. No, 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 no. I get no. it. Because it's funny. We're always like, we don't know how we met. And I, I want to make up a whole story. You should. Make up a story. A lot of your kids. Yeah. Apparently it's a thing. Every time they ask, somebody asks about that, she makes up a different story. I love it. Met, yeah, she's awesome. She's the only person that could replace Jen on this podcast. I love Ari Lennox. Ari, if you're listening, um, that's that's pretty. Your that's, album, that's, that's, that's very that, bold. That's I mean, right here, my heart. That hurt, right? Is it though? My I, heart. You heard <laughs> album? She got a good album. Well, uh, Jen's, yes. Jen's not... Shea Butter Baby. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It actually yeah. is really good. I would, I would <laughs> replace you. I can't say the word. Replace. I say if if Jen said, "Yo, <laughs> fuck y'all." I'm out. I'm eating breakfast every day. day. <laughs> Nigga. Going to sleep. 6 p.m. <laughs> Yo, boom. This, this, two packs. <laughs> two packs. Shakur. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, all right, damn, well, what's Ari doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the only. You wouldn't even fight? And I'd be like, well, you know right. what? And then she'd be like, you don't even fight for me? <laughs> Like and then we get all mad on the phone. We get all mad. Please don't leave. Please, please don't leave. <laughs> nah, I'm out. And uh, I right, well, sorry, but you're not gonna fight. Speaking you know, of, I'd fight for Jen. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I sent my friends something this morning. Not us. us? You two. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Stupid ass Nigerian. <laughs> yeah. I sent my friends something this morning. Last week we went way too long talking about job lot. Oh. <laughs> well, guess what, guys? <laughs> There's more. <laughs> Yo, job bot's wilding. <laughs> so, okay, wait, wait, wait. So. <laughs> you remember they're up to something. They are, bro. Some so, to, to throw that in the ad like it's nothing. <laughs> like, 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 first, like, okay. So, the ad. I wasn't even going to drink tonight. Y'all got me out here. <laughs> Where's, oh, they said this is my email at six in the morning. <laughs> why up, early? Like, but why do you get job lot emails? Because I'm an insider. She's an avid mm. job lot shopper. 
the inside of niggas. Maggie, if you listen to the podcast. Who? Um, oh, your friend that works. Yeah. If you still are working with these people, I want to know what they're up to. <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> so, Jen sends us, sends us a thing. Ocean State Job Lot. Thanks for being a Job Lot Insider. Four days only. Four days only. I ain't got, I can't make that kind of decision in four days, motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, this, this is a big thing you're going to buy. For, so, the, oh, first shit. off, I thought it was like a, a Toys R Us ad because like it has all the crazy letters and stuff. And then I looked at I had to read it like four times. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, there. Sorry to interrupt. Um, <laughs> listeners, <laughs> if you would, if listeners, wait. <laughs> I need you guys to pause where you are in this. If you're listening to us, only listening, I need you to pause this. <laughs> Go find us on YouTube. And please continue watching us from this point because Jen, out of nowhere. <laughs> She she said kind of like what the fuck is in my pocket, and pulls out a whole scrambled Rubik's cube. You know what that just felt like, Darren? Because <laughs> we were, you were talking, I was looking at you. I was just looking at her, but then I looked at you. And then I look at her, and she is doing a Rubik. It felt like a National Lampoon movie, <laughs> <laughs> like where some random shit just happens, or like a naked gun or some shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, you look what? away, and she's doing something else. <laughs> Yeah. How did she <laughs> Jen? Hmm? No. There's no there's no explanation. Uh, fine. There's I can't none. remember how to do the whole thing. I can only remember how to do one side now. I used to know how to do the whole thing. Get the You solved the Rubik's cube? Hell yeah. I used to do it on the bus all the time in like five minutes and just keep doing it over and over. It's a um uh it's an equation, right? Like No, it's not really an equation. There's just ways you just there's there's a um I'm sorry, I'm way off track. Job lot. No, finish, uh, no, please. Finish. We'll, we'll yes. get back to job lot. <laughs> so the way I've learned how to do it, there's um, order. Listeners, we are talking about a Rubik's Cube uh-huh. on a podcast. Mm-hmm. Jen is breaking because down the, the... you pick a side. So apparently, the middle squares don't move. They don't move. I, that I've... Yes. So, that's all I got. <laughs> so you pick a side. You pick a color. Uh-huh. Like, say, I'm going to pick red. And then first, you do the the four... Not corner. The four other ones that are yep. not the corners. Yep. And then you do the four corners. And then you do the four middle corners... And then you do the four bottom not corners, and then you do the four bottom corners. But the problem is, everything moves. <laughs> so I fuck up. <laughs> yeah, but I forgot how to do it to where I didn't fuck it up. I, I used to be a beast. You see how fast I did the top. But when you learned, though, did you learn it on your own, or did you somebody kind of tell you? Or you, I you bought see? a Rubik's Cube, and it comes with a book. Oh, the book tells you how to do it. So, But the thing is, niggas never buy it. You always like, you steal from somebody. One. I have one at the house. I can't. Dylan could do one side, no problem. But I, I can't figure yeah, that so shit out. Yeah, so if you actually bought your own, it came with a book that told you how to do it. So I looked it up online, and there's apparently like four ways to do it. Um, the, and it's the way you mentioned it. But even with that, nope. Nope. So I'm, I'm going to do red side while Darren talks about what I sent you guys. Darren, go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so not okay. Like, I'm trying to be okay with what's going on. Anyways, <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm not okay. I'm not okay with this. So... <clears throat> Uh, guys, picture this ad. Uh, and it's, it's not like there's multiple things on this ad. It's, it's, <laughs> there's one thing on this ad. And it says, buy, buy an 80,000 to 120,000 BTU York gas furnace for $1,800. And get a $1,800. Crazy deal gift card free. I told y'all niggas that shit was real. Guys. And so you have to stop. <laughs> And go, what? Yes. Is this a a, fur, a furnace? <laughs> a whole water heater, <laughs> a, a gas one. Uh, uh, fur- and then I didn't even notice the description. Start looking forward to winter ahead with a high performance York gas furnace. Yeah. So we've been the job lot. Red. Oh, Jen, look at you. Where's our? Hey, it's gone. I'll be fucking it up. Okay. <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> so. Yes, we go to Lowe's. Okay. And um, we see... I don't even think I've you seen... You went to a, Lowe's? No, I'm we, oh, we frequent Lowe's. I don't even think I've seen a furnace at Lowe's. I've seen water heater. Yes. I've seen a big air conditioner and maybe a, even a, a, a cooling unit. Yep. But not a... Now, a, fur, a fur. So, we've been to Job Lot, right? I see patio furniture. I see little tools. I see clothes. I see soap. 
Cleaning supplies. Cleaning supplies. Um, Insulation. Pet stuff. Drywall. Where in the fuck? <laughs> they Are they furnaces? keeping the, stern, the furnaces in the parking lot? <laughs> <laughs> so then you then you're kind of like I you've been to job lot before you've been in and out of there they have clothes and and gloves and and journals <laughs> and pillows and pillowcases and shoes and bootleg snacks like a honey must a honey uh, roasted peanuts are not honey roasted they have um lint brushes. That too, yes. And I realize why people don't call them lint brushes. What do they call them? Rollers. Lint rollers. Yeah. Oh, because you know there is a difference, though. There's a roller and brush. And the brush, yeah. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's a lint, yeah. r- lint brush. <laughs> yeah. You didn't realize until I said it. Still. I call them different ones. Still. As, I'm lying. I as much as brush. it could be a lint roller or a lint brush, it could be just lint. At, at job lot. That yeah, they probably do have some of that. They have like a, a lint trap for your dryer. Where are the furnaces? Are the furnaces in job lot? Hey fam, this one's dented. You got another one in the back. You got another one in the yeah, back. Yeah, I got no more uh, furnaces. Do you put it in the Yo, carriage and push it to the <laughs> register? How do they bring it up? Do they Yo. scan it? Is there a barcode on that bitch? Can it even fit through the door? Like, no, 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 you ain't got to take it out the carriage. Just turn it so I can reach you with this handheld scanner <laughs> like it's a pack of water. No, I'll come around. All right, all right. In, in the stupid line with just a big-ass thing sticking out your carriage. And the person behind you is just buying a lint roller. Right. <laughs> just waiting. That's me. <laughs> right. You're, do you go to the like one item, like 14 items or less aisle because you only have... But it's like furnace? the price of 14 items. Yes. You you need your own line if you're buying a furnace. <laughs> I think they order it for let you. Let me get some. Uh, let me uh, get, let me that's get, what he said about the chair. They order it. Gotcha. Let me uh, get some gum, too, while I'm in this aisle. <laughs> oh, Not man. some gum. <laughs> that is that. I'm going. I haven't gone yet. I'm going to go. <laughs> let me know when you go because I need to go with you. There's one around my way now uh, uh, where Benny's Shut used to be. So they took way. over that. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop in there. Apparently, there's a lot more job lots than I thought. Mm-hmm. Some yeah, they're kind of sliding into the Benny's but space. Again, but even before that, even but but uh, now I'm not saying only one store can sell you a furnace. <laughs> I but am. it's kind of like <laughs> like would you buy sushi from a gas station? No, no. Like like Bim said, they either have a really poor version of whatever it is or an okay version. They don't have a good version of anything, right? And I do I, I do know that brand, but still, I'm not getting it from Job Lot, fam. Not because him. if I don't like this one and I return it, <laughs> can you return do you a have an, Can you return a furnace? And do you have an alternate? I didn't want that one. Give me this other brand. They don't have it. This is the only one. one we have. Just we had one. different ones, and I, we only take store credit. I got a, so no. You got the you got, the gift got card. eighteen thousand eight hundred dollars crazy deal gift card. You got to spend. Fuck that. <laughs> no, I, I got to open up the whole email because I sent you guys a screenshot. Oh, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> So at Job Lot, we have these furnaces in 80,000 BTU, 100,000 BTU, and 120,000 BTU. They sell online for $1,800 plus, and our price is $1,800 too. The big difference, when insiders buy your gas furnace from Job Lot, it'll come with an $1,800 crazy deal gift card. These items are not in stores, limited units available, and they may go fast. Simply order at the customer service desk, and we'll ship the product from our warehouse to your store in approximately 10 to 14 days. Where the uh, fuck is the job lot warehouse? You know what? I think I, I think I know what it is. I think a bigger company owns or acquired job lot. And now they have all these And they're slanging in their other shit through right, job lot. I mean, Gotta be. Gotta right, be. Well, or a job lot acquired some company that just had mad random shit. So if anybody finds themselves this winter in need of a furnace... Please. You have four days to buy it, though. <laughs> Please go get you a furnace. Make haste. <laughs> but they have other ones. They have a gas water heater with power vent. Oh, they have water heaters, too, huh? Seven fifty eight hundred dollars Hold on. I, I s- <laughs> Your water heater is one of those things you want to replace before something goes wrong, not after. If you think it's starting to be about that time, you're g- not gonna want to miss this unbeatable deal on State Line Pro Line, oh State Pro Line XC gas water heater with power vent. Elsewhere, these water heaters cost sixteen fifty or more at Job Lot because we stole them from somewhere. <laughs> we have the State Pro Line XC gas water heater in forty gallon, fifty gallon tank models for only seven hundred fifty to eight hundred dollars. All right, well, they also have 
giant aluminum lasagna <clears throat> pans for 75 cents. Okay. See, the, 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 <laughs> 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 75 cents. That's a good deal. Okay. Wait. Dollar Tree is a dollar. So that, that's, Come yeah. on. You can't. Those <laughs> things. Right after, not, one of, one after. Right like, after? It's not like there's nothing in between. No. It's not like, I don't need a water hitter, but. There's pan, some pans. I am making lasagna for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, if you go to job lot for some pans and you walk out with a water heater, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, be big, I'm be big mad at my wife. I'm gonna be big mad. I thought we could use it. I mean, I'll be so mad. <laughs> Did you put this on the credit card? <laughs> I I'd paid be, cash. I'd be so mad. <laughs> Nigga, what? Because <laughs> you don't go to job lot with like a, a shitload of money. You don't You don't go you walk like in there. You $6 in right, your pocket. You're like, right, I, I'm going to buy some bullshit. Gonna, <laughs> some you walk food. in there with, with bullshit in mind. I'm, I'm here for bullshit, ma'am. Yeah, that's it. Give <laughs> me to the bullshit. It's everywhere. Right, right. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Say less. Then right after that, <laughs> hotel quality fabric napkins, <laughs> three for a dollar. Uh, napkins? <laughs> three for a dollar. I thought you were about to say sheets. Three for a dollar. Hotel quality napkins fabric what napkins. fucking difference well i mean i don't know for, it says, it says, it says approximately 20 inch by 20 inch from assorted famous hotels and restaurants what i'm telling you somebody acquired them or they acquired something that just has mad random <laughs> shit. To get just this. shit <laughs> i need to work for whoever gets to write these emails me too after I'm, you're done stuffing your face with stuffing this thanksgiving you're going to need a napkin and a nap who wrote that shit? <laughs> it could have been me. It literally could have been, been me. We just been. talked about my breakfast <laughs> nap. Mm. At Job Lot, we carry napkins that were made for hospitality industry. Oh the same you'll find in various hotels and restaurants. And we sell them for a fraction of the price you'd find elsewhere. These approximately 20 by 20 hotel quality fabric napkins are only 50 cents each at Job Lot. And this Friday to Sunday, insiders can grab a bunch while they're only three for a dollar. Yeah, no. Next thing is a LED cage work light for three bucks. Uh, cut resistant gloves for two dollars. Dove spray deodorant. Uh, four pack washcloth for a dollar fifty. That'll match your elastane underwear. <laughs> uh, my day instant coffee for a dollar forty nine. Thanks, Jim. Nothing you've said can compare with a water heater and a fucking furnace. Trail mix. <laughs> trail mix, Darren, huh? <laughs> the and, bootleg trail mix. And this email came at what time in the morning? <laughs> I gotta 608. The, I, I need you to wake up to the 608. You sending me an email about. Uh, yeah, they bugging. Anyways. So, yeah. All right, guys. Huh. Thanks, uh, Job Lot, God damn for the it. content. How long have we been doing this already? Send the, send the check, please. Cut the check. Make it pay. Send the check and get it right back. Um, can we talk about something one of y'all posted? Oh boy. Oh boy. The but why are you yelling shit? Who did that? I did. What the fuck? I like to make men <laughs> mad. So I like to make men angry. So now we know that's a thing. Like like a it worldwide multi racial multi racial thing? Like yeah, are you guys just born this way or I really think they are born this way. But it's manipulation, Darren. It, to, like, and it's not right. It's not because okay. Say we say some shit to get s- some vagina, right? Doesn't work. That's you. You lied to me. You manipulated me. To, but then you do your your swindling fucking bullshit when you're wrong, and then I got then I gotta feel bad because you feel attacked. Ha, Bim, have you ever um, have you ever had some a woman tell you, "Hey, I'm wrong. You were right." Um. Okay. I won't lie. Yes, but. If we were to do a ratio, it's probably it's less than five percent of the time <laughs> that it actually happens versus an argument or why are you yelling or it's the way you said it. It make us feel right. It make us feel wrong for being right. They're fucking fucking. They're brilliant. <laughs> and you know they learn it young because yeah. Alexis the other day oh said boy. she goes to me. Lexus used to play basketball, you guys, where we were at last. So she's last, done, done, yeah, huh? she said she was done. Oh, boy. Now, I, we had conversations about it, and I was like, you know, I, what I think it is, I think you're a little bit intimidated because you're going into high school, you know, from now you've been kind of, like, coasting it and giving it, like, as much effort as you want, mm-hmm. but you get into high school, it's kind of more intense, more competition. I think that scared you a little bit. And she's like, nah, nah, I just don't want to do it. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. A couple weeks after that, no, no, no. A couple months after that, she comes to me. She goes, you know, Daddy, I wanted to tell you something. Um, you were not wrong. See? So I said, See? I was right. She's like, I didn't say you were right. See? 
I just said you weren't wrong. <laughs> Jen, can you? Fine. <laughs> Work on the other color. That's fine. Work on the other color. So, what, do, do you guys like lose a year on your life or something? What is it that you're holding on to? Can you imagine? That, <laughs> do, no, honestly, is there some woman pact that y'all have with God to where the more you apologize, the shorter your life expectancy is? A woman's pride bigger? Yes. Why are you yelling? No. Sorry. <laughs> see, see, there you see, there you see. You know. <laughs> And then, then I'm going to my voice. Look at her face. <laughs> Look, she's so pleased with herself. They are so proud, prideful. <laughs> They're so prideful. <laughs> you cannot just own, own your distance. Oh, I own my distance. I have to make malice and then cause quarrels. Mm. For what? Mm, quarrels. Mm? That's a good word. <laughs> Honestly, what's the, what is the deal? We're not causing quarrels. Why can't you just say... I can. But why don't you? I do. Can I ask? What? Uh, ask what? Can I ask your your person? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna answer you. If you know what good for me, not gonna answer. <laughs> do what you want. But it's the strangest thing that that many people are that way. You and know why I can't do this? Because I can't focus on one color, like white. I'm like, okay, do the white side. And I'm looking at every other fucking color than the white side. I'm sorry to interrupt. But you got to find the white in the center and then work around that. Okay. All right, okay, Jen? Time continue. Right? Yeah, see? Find so what were you um, saying? Find the white in the so, center. So, no, but it's something I've, I've, I've come to. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Wow. <laughs> it's something I've come to accept over the years, the more I learn. Because although women won't give that up, we care a lot less. We'll be mad in the moment, and then when y'all do that, we can let it go easily. Can't imagine if we wouldn't apologize, though. If men wouldn't apologize for shit, World War Goddamn Three. Absolutely, because y'all care more than we do. There may be a little bit of pride associated with that as well, or entitlement, something. But it's 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 nasty. But you no, know, still, that's how it is. If you want to get the cooch, you know, you gotta you gotta submit, guys. You <laughs> gotta submit. It's a fact. Or you could just do butt sex with each other. No. Uh, no not an option. I'm right. sorry. I mean, but you know, if you do that, hey, turn up. Why know? gay men are so happy. All right. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I came across a funny question. Um, <laughs> not that. Not not that at all. Um, there was like, all right. I'm all right, 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 right. So we've all been on dates here. Bim, Me? What? <clears throat> we've all been on dates here. I heard your first time. Well, not, not Jen, though. Um, how much, what's the, the most amount of money you've spent on a date? Um, <clears throat> not f- because we're in relationships. Try not to, like, yeah. Yeah. Not, obviously, we're going to spend money on that. I'm talking about, like, just dating. So not, so not somebody that was your girlfriend, just somebody, like, you're courting in the uh, beginning stages kind of I'll thing? I'll say within the year of, with that person. Does that does that help make it yes. worse? Uh, I'm I'm cheap, so like for a combined dinner, it's never really like uh, on those types of dates. Mm-hmm. Never really exceeded like um, I mean, it's gotten to like a hundred, but nothing like crazy over that. I ain't taking you nowhere fancy. Mm-hmm. No, Jen doesn't pay for dates, so. Oh, does she? No, you don't pay for dates. Come on, Darren, you know the answer to that. She's a woman. We just talked about this. <laughs> They're entitled. Sorry, ladies. You are bitter. You are no. a bitter old blacking. I'm I'm jealous sometimes, but then I realize <laughs> but then I realize women are taking a risk every time you go out with men because Yeah. Might not make it home. <laughs> Which is crazy because I was on the Facebook mm-hmm. and there was an article <coughs> that that scrolled by. Um, but East Greenwich dentist that just got charged with uh, like three or four counts of child molestation, and then Crazy. scrolling some more, found out is a woman. I, I felt molesting bad. little boys. I don't know who she molested. Oh, I didn't click on it because it's disturbing. But I said, like, "Damn!" I totally just assumed it'd be a dude. I I would too. But it, I mean, it's not wrong. I I don't have any numbers to back anything I'm about to say. But <clears throat> I would assume most of the child mo- reported child molestation. Uh, cases are men. Fact. That's just an, my own assumption. Right. But um, what were we talking about? Dates. 
How much oh. money have you spent on a date? Uh, so the most I'm gonna say I spent was like a little bit over a hundred. That, and I was and I was and I was pretty like upset about it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> now that I say oh, it, I'm lying, but you he, he didn't put the phone down. So listen, listen. When so you know you go on a date, and you're like, I right, I'm I'm gonna spend about this much. I'm guessing I'm gonna be in this ballpark, sixty seventy dollars, yeah. maybe, whatever. It's nothing worse than when you get to the place and you're like, ooh, <laughs> yeah. it's a lot higher than I. I thought, yeah, and then the belt, the bill comes, and you're like, "Whoa, oof, yeah, mm, yeah, I got to use the other car." You look at his bitch like, "How much did you drink?" Because <laughs> it's the drinks that put the price up. Yeah, mm. when you look at the menu, you're like, "Okay, her meal's about fifteen dollars, my meal's about fifteen, and then it comes at a hundred, and you're like, "How?" Yeah, but I, I'm lying. I've definitely spent more than a hundred um, because if I've ever done a dinner and a movie ah. in the same day ah, yes or dinner and then the club mm. yeah 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 forget about it club shit mm. <clears throat> yeah that's that that's like 70 80 bucks in the club alone easily for a few drinks between the two of us yeah so yeah definitely spent yeah it's been a good amount it's disheartening i did pay for a date recently and it made me mad Re- but that don't count because we were like together yes together. and you said it made you mad though because the place we didn't neither one of us liked the place oh it's oh. not because you had to pay it's no just no no, no, oh, no, no, okay. no, no. Yeah, no, I wanted to pay. It was my day. <laughs> we went out uh, with we double dated with another couple, and we uh, <clears throat> am I allowed to divulge or deep dive into just that before you even get into that? Yeah, of course. Let's see why not. Uh, mutual, like this people you mm-hmm. fuck with, like that you knew first or the wife knew first. Um, <clears throat> technically speaking, she knew them first. Okay, but I I know dude and and really cool guy. You don't mind couple stuff. <clears throat> Depends on who it is. Like obviously with you cool with him cool if it's somebody i'm like eh, i don't really know well uh, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen often where we're doing it they moved the mic away, but he said he hates it hey, thanks jen thanks, i wasn't jen. sure if they caught i wasn't sure if they thanks <laughs> you just like you do <laughs> you always seem so happy it's drugs <laughs> drugs <laughs> um yeah, I, I usually we. It's not very often we're going out with people we yeah. don't like. Yeah. But there is one couple that um, they keep saying, "Oh, we got to get together," and I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> "We do, yeah." yeah. <laughs> Look at mm. you. It's that is wild. Not not yummy though. Yummy, yummy, and Ashley was supposed to go with them. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Oh, this was up. I love them. They never asked me and Drina. Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was like, it's for a reason. I'm kidding. It's a reason for couple, the season. Bim. I'm kidding. Oh, I, I don't have a leg. Nobody would ask oh, me. Oh, you little pirate. I have no leg. <laughs> <laughs> you little pirate. Oh, uh, no. oh mm. what were you saying? Sorry about the. Uh, All right, so. <laughs> We told them, okay, shoot wherever you want to go. Cool. Ah, right. Mistake. You know why? Because I'm thinking we're in the same class. <laughs> it's a huge mistake. Yes. I'm thinking we're in the same class. So we go out <clears throat> and um, oh, go to, uh, I want to say it was Prime Steak downtown or some someplace downtown. I've never been. Or 10, 10 Steak or something. I don't know. Jeez. So we're in there and I'm looking at the price, at the menu, and I'm like, whew. Oof. Oof. And brother, Oof. that's the price for the steak with no sides. <laughs> that's without the sides. But I can't, yo, know, I can't. Ew, y'all know Lux is on the street, right? It's right behind the right. train station. I can't back. You're like, Bill Jones. I, you know, and it's even worse for him because I know he'll talk mad shit. He's uh, in back threes right, right there. So we're out. The girls are having a good time. or You know, they were having their fun. We and him were talking and having our fun and shit. And the bill came and I was like, that that is higher than I ever imagined. And the women ain't tend to their clutch no, or their person. They just no. keep talking like they ain't so shit. I, I, <laughs> totally. I, I try to like, you know, be all cute and like whistle the clap, but like, yo, I mm. <laughs> <laughs> Because as the man so here's what another reason shout out to hopefully nobody listens to that. <laughs> but what hap- ends up happening, right? And this ha- oh, fuck I can't damn it. Usually one guy ends up paying the whole shit. Right? You are correct. Because... Well, I got it. No, no, I got it. Because you got to do that. Yes. You got to fucking... You gotta, yeah. You got to fucking no, do that not, shit. And now, if I go... All right, cool. Yo, my man, uh, me and you, hey. that you look you No, look no, whack. no, no, I got it. Don't even worry about it. I got it. No, no, come on. Let me... Let me. Now you got to do the fight thing. In your head, I'm like, please give up. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping he keeps going. So I want to put up a fight, but I, I want to stop 
So it's like, I really did try, <laughs> but you're stronger than me. <clears throat> Came to, hey, guy sucks. Hey, hey, I mean, hey, hey, uh, 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 halves, halves, halves. Settle on halves? Yes. God bless. So, God bless. Because he wanted you to give up. He did. <laughs> but it was his idea to go there? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. So, oh, but but whenever they go out, they, they ball out like that. Yeah. So, we go halves on it. And I right, guys, hey, what we go? We want to go. We want to go to get some drinks. And I was like, honestly, no. <laughs> I want. I want to go home personally. I don't know about y'all. They're like, it's eight fifteen there. And I was like, I know. It's it's, it's late. like, happy machine. <laughs> so, this is that for nine. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good excuse because they don't know no better. <laughs> I would have been like, oh, My sleep damn. after she is seven for nine. <laughs> Dead. That's you good. that that is <laughs> fucking genius. But then you're back popping. Pop yeah. mm. So my whole demeanor changed now. <laughs> we go to another spot. Oh damn! And and uh, they're like, "Oh, you guys want some drinks?" I was like, oh, "Soda <laughs> for me, Coke, <laughs> Coke, no ice." I would have got tap water. <laughs> Jesus. So again, they're good friends of ours. So a couple weeks later, I was able to talk to shit to them. Like, hey man, y'all. I'm fucking balling and shit. Y'all go to this place, have me paint. So now, every time he wants to say something about going out, oh, uh, you guys can choose wherever you want to go because <laughs> I want Darren to complain. But, oh, you know. He did that? Yeah. But, you know, like he, he it, in, in, a joke, in a joking manner. But there's nothing worse. So I ask you, what do you do when you're out and about having a good time and then the bill is a lot higher than you imagine? Just got to thug it out. Just got to thug it out. When you start looking at your phone, hold on, let me check my account. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, yeah. No, I got it. Let me just go to bed. Take the thing with you, right, and, and see the waitress on the slide. But just look at your shit. Make sure everything's copacetic with your, with right, your cards right, right. and shit. And then, go goddamn. Start, what do you do if it's not copacetic? Uh, two cards. <laughs> Yo, what I want you to do, I want you to put... What don't, amateur don't, don't leave your yeah, house. Don't, yeah, <laughs> don't go out. If you know if you know you only got like $99 to your name, don't... Don't even put yourself in that position. Because I had a scenario back in my Woo! day. The lady came back. Oh, sorry, it didn't go through. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I mean, it must be the Because you try to, the, the plastic bag thing, when you do it, no? Yeah. yeah. All right, fine, just use this one. No. Fuck. Do I have quick, no, quick, man. quick. Yeah. Hey, uh, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, Got to have backup cards. If not, stay home. Don't do it. It's not worth the embarrassment. It's not. If because any young people and, listen, and, please and don't. And we talked about it is if you, as on your first date, I don't think this is a first date stuff, but if you go on a date and now it's put up there that you can't pay for the date, you that makes you look terrible. To, yes, to but you know what I, I hate, though? Because, you know, people on Twitter say all kinds of nonsense. And there was a point in time where <laughs> girls were talking about, oh, you guys spent at least $200 on a date, blah, blah, oh, blah. Oh, fuck off. The $200 date thing. <laughs> cool. And then after that, there was this thing about, Chicks complaining about dudes using a coupon on a date. Fuck off two what? times. What? I will use You're that complaining? shit. Complaining? Let me tell you something, brother. We can do the two for twenty at Applebee's. Like, what are we talking about? Like, what is this? Say? What? What the fuck? Yo. You, what can we even demand? Yo. How can you make demands on how much somebody else spends on? I you don't eat? even know you, really. Listen. I'm just trying to beat. Listen. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Can Listen. I just give you? Them? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, like, I'm just trying to why, be all oh, these shit. Why we not walking? Me. I, <laughs> hey, you know what? Definitely not but, you. So I will say, I prob if I had a coupon, I probably would kind of go off to the side. I wouldn't probably make it first well, day. No. I'm going off to the side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, I got this, I want this coupon for this. Right. Or use a Groupon. Even then, you gotta do. They be like, "Can I have your phone to scan the?" You, know I mean? you gotta. You gotta <laughs> why are you? Why are you walking to the seat? Hey, t- table for two. I got a group, on. and then you know. But you gotta you gotta play it cool because if you print out the group on. <laughs> Proactively, that, right? And you're like unfolding. Hold it. on, hold on, <laughs> and try to be slick and put it in the check, right? When it come, the waitress is gonna come and say, "Okay, you're outside. Like, Next time, can you give me the coupon <laughs> beforehand?" Just so I know. Huh? you gotta write right on the paper, <laughs> bitch. I'll add five dollars to your tip if what? you don't mention this shit. Put the group. Oh. That's not mine. But I don't know about that group. Like, Why is that the group? Why is that the group? Why is that an embarrassment? I'm so happy that <laughs> I don't not have dating, to right? not dating you because. I, the, the amount of pressure, the shit that you got to deal with. Fellas, if some a woman cares about it, she's not for you, brother. Honestly. If you are a frugal fellow or you, you want to save a few bucks, if she can't appreciate that, why do I have to spend overpriced for no reason? What, to impress you? 
<laughs> I got it. I just don't want to spend it right now. Jen. That's how the rich stay rich. Jen, Thank is, you. Jen, is that a turn off for women? I, I, that's that's broad. For women, uh, probably. But for me? No, not for you. I know it's probably not a turn off for you. You'd probably be like, yo, you smart, yo. Let me, let me buy one, too. And we could do Where'd you again. get that? Right, right, right. You got a two for one to this right. motherfucker? <laughs> Who doesn't get hype over savings? Savings on food? Nigga, Listen. I have a whole Shaw's app on my phone. Baby. <laughs> like, we ain't got to even talk about nothing. All the apps. Why is that a problem? Ladies, that doesn't mean someone is cheap. That doesn't mean someone is broke. It means he got more money. He is spend. smart with his money. And that is a man that you would want to keep by your side. And even if he is broke, that doesn't mean he's not a nice guy. Thank you. So he's still trying to find a way to go out with you on a budget. And he's feeding your broke ass. He's feeding your broke ass, ain't paying for shit. You know what? Let's get into these bras. All right, Darren. No boy. There there are some who will go serial daters. You know know, know that Serial daters. Let him land. Let him land. You know that meme with the little cartoon with the fire? He says, I'm in danger. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, no. It's the the dog. Yeah, the dog. This This is fine. fine. This is fine. Yes. Listen, serial daters, they will go out on multiple dates with dudes. Why, Darren? Because they're hungry. Yes. I've heard that. You're homeless. Yes. You are you are you are you are a leech. You are you are you are you are a a vagabond. Okay? Vagabond. I won't call you other stuff because it's offensive. <laughs> no, keep going. It's fun. No. <laughs> but we don't, we can't do that. If we did that, Darren, we're misogynistic. We're wrong. We're, we're taking advantage of. But for a woman, again, I understand the double standard, and it's fine because men are crazy and you are taking a risk every time you go out. Totally fine. But if I'm still feeding your stupid face, mm. don't talk to me about a coupon. Mm. Don't talk to me. Mm. Don't talk to me. Sit down, eat a slice of pizza, and... Be quiet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Talk to these hoes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> because Darren let you down. <laughs> you see? I threw you. I'm glad you came with the alley. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm here for you. I'm just... I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't man. judge my do-rag. I won't judge That's your right <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge... Don't judge my do rag. I won't judge your red, red pad. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Okay, sorry, we went there. Sorry. We went there. We I'm went joking. There. We're talking about dating. I'm joking. How mad at you? How mad I'm at you? I'm joking. We spent the hundred. It rhymed. We spent the hundred dollars on the date. Darren, help me, man. Then, Say something. <laughs> after you finish paying, I have nothing. She says, "Pad time." Mm-hmm. Pad time. Do, do you, pad time. Oh. Do, do you get angry? <laughs> Not you now because you're thirty something and you're in relationships and blah, blah. But as a young dater in your twenties, yeah. If, if especially if she was hyping it prior, mm-hmm. like yo, yeah, I can't wait to see you. I wore this and all that shit, and I got that. That would upset. I'd be upset. I'd be upset because and and if you don't offer something else, if you're like ah, you know, yeah. Blah, blah, yeah. and you go home right after dinner <laughs> and have to. Cool. Y'all are out of control. Are we though? <laughs> are we? <laughs> Y'all got me on the wrong path tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna choke. <laughs> nah, that's foul, man. This is fine. But <laughs> no, but whatever. The dating game is nasty. I'm glad I'm long. I'm so out of happy that show. I don't. But I found right that just kicking it was sufficient like if you understood how to talk to people um women were cool with hey you know what let's go do this some shit that went expensive a little bit of food but you need to do some shit to actually spend time and kick it i needed to know if i actually wanted to be around you right. fuck that other shit i don't need to spend money to impress you i don't care that much fucking a Ugh. <sighs> that was fun. That's tiring. That was great. <laughs> so on that same path. No. No. We're, right, we're, here. no we're, we're here. We're here. Thank you, Darren. Continue. No, he ain't saying nothing. That's I, why <laughs> my head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, two part question. All right. How do you feel about role playing? Um, <clears throat> it it's dope. I did something once. What would you do once? Well, so it was. Uh, it wasn't like in the room. But I think I talk, yeah. mentioned this on the pod yeah, before. Yeah. Did I mention no, 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 I think you told me. Okay, so we were doing one of the uh, the um, food fights things. Oh, I love those. I haven't so done it in a long time. It was a burger one. Mm. So you had to, you couldn't go. Wait, uh, you did tell us this. Yeah, it had to be individual. So lady went in first. 
I went second, had to pretend we didn't know each other. So we kind of played that up and, mm. you know, and I was spitting game and I was like, ooh, let's continue. And you know what I'm saying? So role playing in that regard um, was tight. <clears throat> I feel like in the house, though, I'd, I'd be like, oh, shut up, nigga, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Like like dress up, <laughs> yeah, she be like too. dress up as a maid or some shit. I I, uh, I break characters too easily, so I, I can't. It's like you maybe can't like, to that. I can't. Like I'll try, and then I'll be like, no, no, for real though. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's me. Like no, this is your opportunity to ask for head. It, Act like James Bond. You're right. You're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. Keep I double oh seven on his dick, and then and then <laughs> it does it all dissipates when I'm like, uh, good word. It's just me. It's just me. Oh, do you hear the boys? <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. Well, I guess my James is not supposed to be concerned with your children. <laughs> nope. But Darren is. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. Eat I, I guess this um not really a thing I do. Come on. Will you go along with it? I mean, if it happened, yeah, but. Mm. If I don't know where he bursts into the home, he's like, we have to go. They're on to us. Mm, look at you. Dude, no, she'd be like. they? <laughs> no See, time to explain. This, just come. <laughs> No. <laughs> See, exactly. It's, like, it's, I need explanation. Exactly. I need a whole explanation. It's cold outside. I already First took of, off my shoes. Second of all, I took off my bra. I took off my bra. So I'm you not. Know what that's like. You want me to go outside right now? Right, right now? now? Right now? Right now? Right now? Right now? Right now? Forever, ever? Ever, ever? I need, I need answers. <laughs> Forget it. Hard, yeah, on, hard on is gone. Oh, never mind. It's fine. Bone is gone. Let's watch Maury. It's fine. <laughs> All right. What's the second part of this question? I was going to say, what's too far in role playing? Mm. Um, mm. Hmm. Is there too well, far? Well, so can we even answer that? Because none of you fools do it. Well, I'll, I'll give a scenario. <laughs> okay, okay I'll, I'll, I'll throw some scenarios out there. You Let's go. It's too far for you. There we go. All right. You get home. <laughs> All the scenarios start with you get home and your lady is. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. Don't move the furniture. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, girl. You get home, your lady. I don't care. You yeah. Home. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you want this box of dishes? <laughs> <coughs> All right, you get home, and I'm gonna start easy and move up. Okay. Your lady is dressed like a French maid. Fine, Ooh. I like French maids. All right. And with a French uh, manicure, yes. Okay. Hello, Monsieur. Ooh, don't put the accent on. Okay. Not you, Darren. Sorry. <laughs> You get home and your woman is dressed like a schoolgirl. Oh, mm. uh, that, that, that's not my not that's not my bag. No, okay, okay. it's a little mm. little pedal. Yeah. You get home and your girl is dressed like Claire Huxtable. Let me tell you something about Claire Huxtable. <laughs> okay. Why do all black dudes love her? Hey man, well, I'm thinking hey, of her man. outfit. And I'm like, that it, it could. It's not. No, she it, comes it, out with a big sandwich. A hoagie. Yeah. Well, there's nothing going down. <laughs> at that point. Role playing or not, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing. Nope. Nothing good for her will happen. You know, watch me eat the sandwich. Eat the sandwich. Out. <laughs> I'm eat the sandwich. I'm gonna have a baby like he did. <laughs> eat this damn sandwich. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. All right. So, what about Clay Huxtable? No, it, it's it's not just an outfit. It's everything about that yeah, woman. Yeah, the attitude. Oh my god. The grace. So, I don't think that could be uh, replicated. No. Emulated very easily. Yeah. Hi, um, you come home and she's dressed as some goofy shit. <laughs> like, like she dressed um, like Mickey Mouse or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dis- like, like a some, Disney like some princess Disney. or some shit. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Like she got a mascot clown. Like, like she, like she's SpongeBob on the weekends, and she decided to bring the SpongeBob costume home. Nah, but what the fuck are you doing? That's not sexy. Yeah, no. But then she's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> she's like honk honk. <laughs> No, no. Nope. Little pineapple under the sea. Right. Oh, what the fuck is this? Ah. No, it has to be Sezzy. No, it has to be Sezzy. Okay, so we found what too far is. Yeah, it has to be no goofy <laughs> shit. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I always want to go to. The, I always wanted to go to the pineapple bottom. No, no. no the, the, see the pineapple uh, bottom. No, you're wearing a SpongeBob suit. <laughs> but it's the pineapple bottom. I mean, nope. Look at Darren. If, if I'm thinking like, uh, uh. Like it's showing stuff, you know. It's, How? it's not like a big square, <laughs> like ugly frumpy suit. Like if it's somewhat I just painted sexy. Painted yellow. Body paint. See, you know, I always we always wanted to mess with body paint, but it's too messy. See, so here we, we go. Know. See, now we can get into some shit. Now. <laughs> this is the like content. He, he put his head. He put this his is leg. The con- I put my other leg. You saw it. <laughs> I put my other leg. <laughs> 
<laughs> this, this good leg up because now we on something. All right, <laughs> now Darren, you can still do that. Just put down like some 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 tarp. Some, yeah, put down some tarp. Put down something. You know what? I think it's a great point for me to go pee, so y'all can have a conversation. That's a little wild, but okay, you started this. If you want, yeah, then she she, she, <laughs> yeah, then she she's like, I know. <laughs> so yeah, um, body paint. Put some shit down. All right. <laughs> the, the end. <laughs> you know, because we're simple males. Um, I mean, but the, there is. So I'll tell you, I did attempt a role playing thing, and see, this is where the nerd of me comes out. Mm. So I downloaded an app that I can text from a different number. Okay. That's, so okay. and then I text her with hey blah, 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 as a different person. Yeah. And this different person was aggressive because mm. I'm not aggressive. I'm not. I'm usually like the passive one, but I try to be aggressive in there, and it, it was going well. It, mm-hmm. was, it went really well until we got to the point where I, like of meeting. Is your husband gone? Okay, I'm coming down. Wear this, so I know it's you. And um, we got there, and like one of the boys woke up or something, Aww. and then it was like, oh, well, that's, that's, like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's one. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh so, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's dope. You gotta bring that back. I gotta try. Uh, hey, but it, the, the kids gotta be gone, or y'all gotta meet in the hotel, which will never shit. happen. What um, you mean? Who? Wait a minute. Up, you know. So <laughs> she. Coincidentally, she asked me a pretty funny question. Uh, so, without giving details, whatever, you and your lady have been intimate in public settings where you probably shouldn't have been. Allegedly. Allegedly, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you were scrolling through porn one night, through porn videos, and you happen to see a video of you two. Holy shit. <laughs> what are you, what's, your, what's your thought? <laughs> Holy oh, no. shit! Yo, oh, do you tell her? Yeah, got to. You tell her? Well, cause especially with her line of work, ah, she can't. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the same for your wife. Yes. Fuck. Hmm. First, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. First thing I would look at is the views. Be like, oh shit, are we popping? Or is it just? <laughs> <laughs> Did I do my thing, or is so, it just <laughs> so you download the video first? I'm not gonna download. It. I'm gonna watch it I'm in its entirety. I'm downloading it. for what? Just for record? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, this is the angle that I, uh, the vantage point I did not see. That's smart, actually. So and then I'm reporting it. Yeah, I gotta tell her. Yeah, and then report it and spam, block, all this shit. Just a from the FBI, internet. everything, <laughs> everything. Jen, I asked a question. My wife asked me this question while we were down here, pardon. Cause like we still are, and um, so let's say just now, yeah. Uh, she texts you. She texts me. Are you okay, Jen? <laughs> See my edge. It nothing bad. It was actually funny. No, because no, I was like, damn, how did I miss her? I thought uh, she like came oh, down. I was no, like, no, no. no. This was early. We were talking about something else. Okay. But, um, you and the, you've been intimate in public settings where you probably shouldn't have been. Yes. I gotta see where the rest <laughs> of this question is going. No. Yes or no? Uh, you don't have to give me details. Maybe. Or okay. Allegedly, right? DK. What if one night you're scrolling through porn <laughs> shit and you happen to see a video of you of you in public Can you doing imagine? shit you weren't supposed to do? What? <laughs> Your first reaction? What? <laughs> <laughs> are you are you watching the video? Are you, are you stopping it? My first reaction is. Did they get a good enough shot of my face, or can I pretend this isn't me? Mm. She's smart. That's a woman answer. Because, mm. you know, people, a lot of people come up to me and be like, oh, do you have a sister named such and such, or is your mom name? Oh, you look like somebody I know. So if it's not a clear shot of me, I think I can play it off and act like it's not me. What well, if it's a clear shot and you say your name? <laughs> <laughs> what if you have, name, you have a name tag and per, other person's If he got like, off, I can too. Mm. If what? If R. Kelly got off, I can too. All right. We all seen the tape. Mm-hmm. So you wouldn't like uh wouldn't like report it, try to get try it to get it removed. Oh, would you would, would you embrace it? I wouldn't embrace it. I'm not gonna like repost it on my Instagram and shit. <laughs> Check me out. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> y'all heard about the legend. <laughs> I mean, so y'all heard about so the legend. <laughs> now bear witness. <laughs> I mean nigger lips. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I don't know what I would I, at first, I would download the video, definitely. This, you yeah. watch yourself? I'd, you are narcissistic. I I'd watch it, too. Can I see how you, I mean? Yeah. I came I out. was there. Yeah. Especially if it's a different angle. Yeah, a different angle. Yeah, like, I, I, I know where I was. I know how I saw it from my vantage point. But to see it from, like, back there, I'm kind of curious. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a guy thing. Probably. Did you want to say? But then the panic would be like, after I downloaded it, get this filth <laughs> <laughs> off of the interwebs. It's like. Now that I've that's, watched it. That's yeah. Like, that's another dumb question I had. I, I was full of dumb questions today. That's fine. Um, so it's like you think clearly that you saw the video, right? So it's almost like. Uh, I, I read it somewhere or somebody said it I have really it's like I, I'm thinking clear like I just busted a nut yes sir and I was like hmm talk is, about is clarity there, is, yo man everything Golly. goes back into focus you're like huh you're like I didn't need oh, this, I didn't need to do that at all who had Damn. the joke um, I think it was Bill Burr or somebody um, uh, being a horny guy is like being in a bus and being in the back of the bus but you don't have control or you're not driving the bus. So like your control, this is your body. The bus is your body, but you're not driving it. Mm. Someone else is. Mm. And you're in the back. Non-horny you is like, yeah, where are we going? <laughs> but horny you is like, ah, ah, we're going. <laughs> but as soon as you get your shit off, it's back to normal. You're back in control. Yeah, but yeah. you can't <laughs> control. There's no in between. <laughs> There's no in between. Things come back into focus. You're like, oh, all right, cool. Single guys. If you're old enough, you know. Before you go on that date and drop three hundred dollars, whack off and then see how you feel after that. Let one out. See how you feel. It'd be completely That's different. Great advice. It, it it will save you your time, money, money. unnecessary yeah. bullshit. Yeah, much more rational. Get it out. Get it out yeah, and see how you feel. Take yeah. it. Go to sleep. Get it out and go to sleep. And you're not you're not sitting there like oh, I can't wait to get you home. I can't wait to get you home. I mean, a uh, part of you probably would still creepy things. Yeah, like that. What color is your panties? Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, What's the female equivalent of that? Doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't. Well, because women think thing. clearly. No, yeah. it's not the same. When y'all bust a nut, y'all feel better. Y'all think more clearly. Yeah. That is not the same. Come on. It's true. So you mean to tell me? I'm not telling you anything. I'm, I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. See. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> there is because just the way the body works, right? Women, y'all can go get that off multiple times. Right. And not all women, but most, there's an emotional component that's needed as well. Right. Jen, you're not going to say anything. And it's fine. Darren, back me up for once. Uh, so, <laughs> I'll, be I'll be here. There's an emotional component. So they don't want just they also want to be held. There's something about be, receiving that. Whereas for us, it's like, yeah, I just want to give my shit off. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's I don't know if there's an equivalent. They don't, I, don't, I also feel like they're not ruled by their sexual desires. No. Good or point. Good point. As we are. Yes, absolutely. Good point. Like if, if we're going on a date or we're trying to bag a chick, we're going with the intent to have sex. Well, yeah, I in don't most feel cases, like yeah. women are not. They're just going to get free meals to, to eat. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> just like yeah, I mean, I, I, no <laughs> argument here, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the argument here would just result in why are you yelling? <laughs> See, because <laughs> she's they're not ruled by the same nope. metrics as us at, at all. Is um porn watching porn cheating? I don't think so. No. What if it's the same porn star that your partner watches all the time? No, I still don't think so. And what if your partner watches that same porn star all the time? To the point where they're no longer attracted to you. Not attracted, or but they like can't perform. Yeah, the sexual desire yeah, isn't yeah, there as much yeah. because they got to put on a video of her to yeah. be with you. And not just porn, and but no, I have to watch Pinky. I have like to watch it. Like they're in, they're engrossed in her. Yeah, yeah, that, that's just creepy. That's, that's, like, creepy, that's right? like emotional cheating. Yeah, you or, know, some people feel like somebody watching porn and satisfying themselves is cheating. cheating. Like some that. form of cheating. I, I could understand that. Do you really? Not I don't agree with it, but I can understand the. It's kind of like if you're with your partner, right, mm-hmm. and you're being intimate with your partner, and you're thinking of somebody else. That's the same. It's not the same. It's not the same, but I feel it's like it's along those lines of. Nope. Like if you, uh, you know what I'd say, Darren. Take it over yourself. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Honestly, wow. at least like if you. Enough of that extreme case that I gave, but like, yeah, you know, I, hey, I was going through your search history and uh, that's what, yeah, you know, I was home, I was bored, you know, I got my shit off. Oh, but you couldn't just wait for me? Uh, selfish much? What the fuck? 
I wanted to give him a shit up. What's the problem? I, I yeah, I yeah, no, no. People need a long time. Fam, especially guys. It's essential. Guys it's need essential. a long time. It's essential, and you understand that. Uh, I make bacon. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yo, two packs, my Gino. I've, no, honestly, Darren, one sec. <laughs> Other than the Rams, then where we would make cases of bacon in the morning because we run through that shit. We put it all in the oven, then we keep by the flat top, put on that shit, crispy it up, a and bunch give it to you. people. But it, we're feeding a fucking university, fam. Yeah. Other than that, you know what I do at home? Two. If I'm feeling dangerous, three. <laughs> <laughs> three pieces on that bitch, man. <laughs> <laughs> Talking less of two packs. <laughs> he said, three. "Yo, if I want to put three, I'd be like, yo, <laughs> that that will live dangerously. Ooh, it's gonna be an odd number in the thing, but it's fine. <laughs> but it's fine. When, I, when, I, when I eat these two, I got one more left. Mm. What should I eat for breakfast this weekend? Uh, crepes." I'm dying for some crepes. I feel like a pregnant woman right now. But I always, yeah, I love crepes so much. As a, I, just, I just miss Simeon. Do you make crepes. them? That's mad work. Oh. I don't make crepes. I just make really thin pancakes, which I feel like is the same thing. Mm. Um, what else should I make for breakfast? Guys, I need help. For, I, I say do the French toast. Okay. Or unless you did it recently. I mean, it's been a couple weeks. Mm. Do you? So, sorry. Okay. I know you like scrambled eggs with cheese. Mm-hmm. Do you make them any other way? I made omelets for his birthday weekend. Mm, I love Wait, a good what? omelet. Oh, omelet, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I love me a good omelet. What kind of too. omelet, though? Um, what did I put in meat it? Um, <laughs> meat. Linguisa and cheese, I think. Have you ever made Eggs Benedict? I was going to say, no, like a poached I don't like egg. That, looks that might be a little like, too. That's a, yeah. That fancy. might be a little too fancy yeah. for your I don't like, I don't buffet like, style. I, I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> you, you niggas is at the Waffle House. <laughs> like, all right, come get your shit. There's cheese grits over there. There's plenty of bacon. There's plenty of bacon. I don't like um, runny eggs. Ah, like you don't my, do the yolk. No, I, I like. Oh, blue. really? I always fry my eggs. Oh, hard. I love. Do mm. some goddamn mm. brand new mm-hmm. shit. What? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> nah, I fry my egg hard. And uh, uh, so cause since I'm, you know, damn near Cape Verdean, cachupa in the morning. Hmm. Right, you fry the cachupa on, on the on the pan. Egg over easy, right on there. Shit, with some toast on the side. Really? You ever had? I go right back to sleep. You ever had bre- um, breakfast with rice? Yes. Like Love it. Dominican's delight. Love but like, it. but like, what what else is there? Like, if you so, make the, like you have your, your let's say you've made rice on Saturday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have some leftover rice. Yep. And then you take the rice and you just like make some eggs on the side with some sausage or yes. something. I never yes. done that. Oh, white it's so rice, good. Uh, it, <laughs> white rice, an egg. Mm. Uh, with cheese mm. and and uh, sweet plantain. Mm. I feel weird in the and, morning. And mm, then rice, good. so fucking. And not, and not like you have like a whole like a, Cause I'm a meal. Because I'm rice. I need you need that. <laughs> <laughs> you take like a little like a little two spoons, two or three spoons maybe, with the rice right on top. Just, have you been to um Los Andes? Yeah. yeah. So it's it's kind of really that's the place where I was mad that I paid for. Oh, I can understand that then. Go ahead. Um, the food's mm. good there. It's big and plentiful, but good. Um, <laughs> she's not impressed. She's so mad. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like the food there. Mm. So just take like a, a quarter of a dish with the rice, the bun, and the meat. And, and the meat. Mm-hmm. And the oh, I haven't done steak for breakfast in a while. Oh, if, if we make pork chops, <laughs> if we make pork, my favorite. <laughs> Leftover pork chops, spinach, Let's talk about it. eggs, cheese, and spinach peppers. Eggs is, spinach eggs is good. Really? Spinach eggs. With a is pork delicious. chop, I make me a nice omelet with a bagel. Mm. I won't do it if I don't have a bagel. I, I won't even attempt. Because mm. <laughs> you gotta the, put the I, yes. in the bagel. Yes. Yeah. Now that we're talking about bagels, if you could pick any kind of bagel, like your go to f- kind of bagel, what, what do you do? You guys are not gonna like it. Here we go. Plain. plain. Jam? I respect it. For 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 breakfast, plain. Mm-hmm. I respect that. I can't. I can't do like an everything trash bagel. That's no, too much. I don't do everything bagels. You? Not even a huge bagel guy. I probably go plain too. I don't know. It's a toss up for me. It depends on my mood. It's either plain. Like if I go to like a Dunkin' or something, I always get plain. Mm-hmm. If I'm using my own bagels, I prefer blueberry Thomas's. With and then you would still have like. No, no, no. That's oh. like if I'm just having like a bagel. Ah, gotcha. Okay, okay. A okay. blueberry Thomas's bagel with butter on it. Oh, I'm with you then. Okay. With butter, yes. Yeah, so yeah. good. I used to do um, 
I feel like our listeners are like, why are we listening to them talk yeah. about their favorite bagels? They, they're they talking to themselves like, no stupid. <laughs> Cinnamon raisin, dummy. You have to get the onion. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, why would you get an onion why bagel? Why would you get an onion bagel? <laughs> an fuck? onion bagel? Why an why everything fuck? bagel? Why, why would you even fuck? make these things? Why the fuck? Now, at the Rams then, since I had access to everything, I tried every single bagel that was there. The onion bagel only intrigued me because when I put it in the toaster, the smell. It smells, it smells I was intense. like, oh, shit. So one out of the toaster, wasn't too bad. Mm. Fresh out the well, toaster. What did you put back. on it, though? Uh, I think I made a sandwich. You can't it. put you things put on an yeah, onion so bagel. You make a sandwich. You can't put, like, cream cheese. No. No, you make a hearty sandwich. You get some sausage and you get egg mm. and all of that with the onion bagel. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's where it works. It has to be a hearty something. You know what? I have to get croissants this week. I haven't done croissants yet. Mm. You really go in. I love I want breakfast right now. Really good. When we went to Martinique, the croissants there because they're like a French-owned country, Mm -hmm. so that's what they do. Mm. They do croissants, Mm. and we were like two fat kids just standing by the buffet lady. Bakery and get croissants. Because like when you go to like like a supermarket, like stop and shop. He's thinking. (laughs) He is pondering. We haven't done the Gen snack in a while. Can we have breakfast? Yo, (laughs) yo, (laughs) can we have breakfast on the pod? Because if we go look at that. <laughs> Say less. I, I, I'm saying, I think that would be fun. We could bring the ingredients and fix it up upstairs, and we just come down, we have some breakfast. <laughs> I'll show up at like seven and start cooking. Yo, we should have like a breakfast Thanksgiving, some, some a yo, breakfast gift. All week, I'm like, yo, how can I incorporate breakfast into Thanksgiving? <laughs> all wow. the fucking week, I've been thinking about this. Wow. Because if you ate breakfast for Thanksgiving, then when you have to wait hours for dinner, it doesn't, it takes the edge off. Mm. Wow. Well, I were talking about Thanksgiving. Thank you to everybody. Thank you. Uh, can I? Oh, yeah, please. Amazing. So we had the great idea to put together a couple baskets for those in need this holiday season. Thanksgiving is uh, Thank one of those darling. holidays that are unfortunately not the best of times for everybody. So we said, let's, darling, kicked it off. And we followed suit. And we said, we're going we're gonna to do it. We post it up. Uh, any families in need, please DM us. See how we can give back to our community. Very surprised of the DMs we received. Not so much of people nominating people for a basket, but people who wanted to help right. donate to these baskets. So much so that we went from like one or one and a half baskets, if mm. you will, to now we have three baskets rolling. Uh, yeah. So we it, shout out to those people that have offered to donate. And I feel um, like even with the three baskets, we're going to end up with way over. Way, yeah. way more. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. we're going to have enough to donate, yeah. yes. give them extra food for the week after. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Right. Very, very dope. exciting. Uh, and it's, it's, it's more like um, the help your fellow man thing. Yeah. Like just we're all in this rat race together, you know, instead of putting down each other or ignoring Ooh. the next person, you know, lift them up. Yeah. Um, so it's very, very dope. Uh, if you guys are listening to this and you guys want to donate uh, to the cause, definitely hit us up. Um, we're going to be putting the baskets together this weekend yes sir uh and if you um hear this after the fact we'll probably do something for christmas too so yeah 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 and i want to shout out you guys because i told you guys in the chat i never did a basket before i don't even know what that looked like like you make an actual bag i don't know shit so but i always think of the less fortunate during these times uh this time of the year and i'm not one that looks for gifts um Thanksgiving, you know, it's about family. So, Mm -hmm. you know, that's, but like, it's more about how you can help folks and lift people up. Mm -hmm. So, being part of a podcast where I can kick it with people, have fun, but then also, uh, y'all are thinking about other folks enough to, for us to do something like that, because we're in a position to do so, even between the three of us or anyone else that offered to assist. um, It's not a small thing, whether we're feeding, one family or 1,000, it still makes a difference. So yes. It makes all the guys, difference man. to that family. To that family. Absolutely. Indeed. So Indeed. Yeah. I'm excited so, for this. Yeah. Very excited. So, very, um, very dope. Again, if you want to get involved, uh, hit us up. Let us know. Um, we'll f- figure out a way to get you involved in this. Um, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So, uh, Thanksgiving plans? Y'all got it? We're still deciding on whether to go to New York or not. Oh. Um, right, right. If we go to New York, my only stipulation is... We have to go on a date, just me and her. Aww. And there is a this place called Mama Sushi's in New York. I I hear Jesus and Meryl talk about it. So good. But I don't know what, what is it though. So it's think of sushi, mm-hmm. but like Dominican. With mama's style. on it. Oh. Mama's. <laughs> with mama's. Yes. Wait a uh, minute. So 
Oh, so like, like Spanish rice inside the sushi? Rice, nigga, what? Planting, is it chicken? Avocado, f- chicken. Um, I think there's some seafood. Like I, I think mainly it's like chicken and steak and oh, pork chops and. That but like but like, are you fucking kidding in, me? In sushi form. That are sounds like my yo, kind of party. Yo, man, y'all eat it with chopsticks too. Fuck yeah, that. it's still like you know, my small fingers. and stuff like that. Fuck out of here. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's so good. Wow, it's like like all I don't. I'm you know I'm practically Dominican. Yeah, hype. Look at Yo, <laughs> last time we went, she was pregnant with with Carter, mm-hmm. and poor thing. We ate. We were excited. We went to go see. Uh, I want to say it was Deadpool. Mm-hmm. She threw the whole shit back up. Oh, Ooh. yeah, gotta go. So yeah, we kept saying go. like, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. That's fine. Um, so good. If anybody knows about Mama Sushi, please let my friends know. Oh, I always wonder what the hell it was. But oh, wow. so good. That's that's wow. I, because people have said that's because I don't eat seafood, but I like the idea of sushi. I'm like rice wrapped mm-hmm. around meat. Yeah. And then like there's a lot of pieces now that are doing it with chicken. I'm like I would yes. do that with chicken. Yes. Yeah. And it's surprisingly filling. Mm-hmm. Like and it's it's, different it's flavors. so good. Oh, mm. I gotta go to Mama Sushi. I, I didn't love, know they were getting down like I that. I love plantain. And I love avocado. Rice. Um, mm. They have like the sauces. I mean, they put a little egg. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sold. It's 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 great. It's huge. <laughs> Jen, how yes. many packs of bacon will meet your demise <laughs> <laughs> on Thanksgiving? <laughs> will meet your demise. I wrapped the turkey in bacon one year. So I've I mean, been wanting to do that. I saw that on Facebook once, but they <clears throat> didn't wrap it in turkey and then grilled it. Don't burn your house down. Yes, a whole grill. Oh wrap. my god! I know. Oh my god! But um, natch, uh, frying a turkey. Okay, that's fun and natch. so tasty. It's so good. My so ugh. I feel like so fat. But I'm like, just like so yeah, good. Everything's so, so good. good. So juicy. So, so crispy. Good. So, good. so good. So good. Honestly, because like, so Yemi's done it the past couple of years. Yo, Yemi, if you're doing it, please let me know. All right. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't almost don't even want it baked ever again. I haven't had it in baked in so long. Yeah. And last year, my brother played a mean, terrible joke. (laughs) Pulled up, drove all the way to his house, and he acted like he didn't fry this turkey. Boy, (laughs) boy. And then he was like, ha, ha, I got you. That's not funny. Yeah. Well, at least y'all eat turkey. What's that? Uh, At least y'all eat the turkey. I feel like her family, it's usually her family we're going to, they they don't eat turkey. They make the turkey, and it's sitting there nice and pretty. But they don't eat it. They make they it don't, they, they don't probably don't make it in a way that they would enjoy it. No, uh, and they would enjoy it, yes. Yeah. Like, they, my mom makes it, like, a Haitian way. Right. They they probably just bake it, and then, yeah, like, like, there it is. We did it. We fine. did it. Yeah. It's part of... Now, get, like, literally everything else they work around, and they leave the turkey there. Yeah, they got to freak it in a way that they And then they wait two days to make it. a soup out of it. Turkey soup. Mm-hmm. That's what I've seen. Make soup out of everything. I'm that guy. I'm in the fridge eating that shit cold, Ooh. just taking pieces of that shit. Mm. Hey, man. What? Make you a good turkey sandwich. sandwich? I never make the turkey sandwich. I'm going to do it this year. Do it. Oh, my God. Some mayo? You like mayo? Yeah. Have yeah. we talked about food this much on the pod before? Yeah. I'm hyped now. <laughs> I am hyped to eat. We are hungry. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, we are hungry. Damn. What's your favorite? Somebody asked us. What's our favorite sides? Dishes, plates oh, for boy. Thanksgiving. Do we have to pick one? Just one? I mean, mac and cheese natch. Yes. Depends who's making it. It, yeah, so if, for me. so we're assuming the best <laughs> the, the best version of whatever this side is. I feel like people yeah. are falsely, fakely, foley that picky with mac and cheese. If somebody puts a pan of mac and cheese in front of you, you're gonna fucking eat it. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I'm with you on that. Um, I just love having Jello fries on oh, Thanksgiving. You have to, you got to, you have to, you got to. Even like Dylan, because he went to his aunt's place um, last weekend. I'm not going to say what he said in the text because my son's racist. But, <laughs> but <laughs> the apple what doesn't fall too far from the tree. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he's right. already looking forward to having jell on Thanksgiving. Already. I yeah, nothing's funnier than like African people with Thanksgiving. It's, it's, it's like so much stuff that just doesn't go together. There's always a lasagna. Yes. <laughs> a jell rice. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey. Tur- turkey's there. <laughs> um, salad. Chicken. There's salad. still, at least for Nigeria, there's still hard fried chicken somewhere. <laughs> I know. I was telling somebody about the hard fried chicken today, and they were like, we need you to explain it. I'm like, I can't explain it. I'm not Nigerian. Yeah. They, they fry it. To, to, and then 
the best we could explain it was like turkey jerky. I it's mean, like it's like chicken jerky. It's the old chicken, right? It's like the that that's how it happens. It's like the older whatever chicken. Would be older, like the chicken's like fifteen years old I think, before they kill it. I don't it. know, but it ends up because you can't fry like a regular thing down to that sh- so little ass shit. You're frying the Betty White of fucking I've chicken. I've never done it. I don't do. I just eat it. I just eat it. But how can you fry? You know, it's right. Are you an elderly chicken, nigga? <laughs> it's, easy to catch. it's easy to catch. It's easy to catch, right? Because you know a regular turkey leg. Like, how can you fry it down to that little small thing that ends up being? The chicken's it's like, got to be a different type of chicken. Y'all frying menopause I chicken? I don't do it. Do it myself. <laughs> it's got hot that flashes and what? shit. Like, right? <laughs> <laughs> like this chicken lives a long life then like 54,000 eggs we made it we made it Frank we we can live and Me die and the two chickens in natural on. death what's that, what's that Nigeria's movie? like gotcha bitch life <laughs> the two chickens at the end of life oh right. my god the two chickens that was on Noah's Ark <laughs> we made it bitch yes <laughs> oh god damn it oh fuck that um, was Mildred um, I feel <laughs> I feel like we're talking about Africans a lot. We should talk about Bob and Abishola. Mm, that show is wild. That's you guys. That show is wild. That show is fucking so wild. I, spend I the, didn't watch this week's, but I'm pretty much caught up. I spent the morning catching up, and I was like, wow, you guys could say that? So we haven't talked about it since <clears> the <throat> debut episode, right? Mm-hmm. No. Well, so a little bit. A little bit. They're like at episode eight now or something. Yes. To which we met a lot of some criticism on the YouTube Apparently, oh, yeah, people we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, really? That's our most viewed YouTube one, uh, we got video. criticism? Yeah. yeah, I think I need. To, I I don't remember all the the comments. Oh, we went in. People were mad about our our, our review. Did you do what you well, was funny? Really, the one comment. But yeah, I replied. <laughs> <laughs> but that's our most viewed um, YouTube video, yeah. the Bob and Ali Abishola review. Yeah, so here I am, telling my friends, give us another, please. All right. I don't even know where to start. Come so, on. so much has happened. So I think at this point in the show, if anybody is gonna watch it or whatever. You might get Rubik's cubes. <laughs> I, I, don't like cool. to share I felt. Cool. I know. Get you a fidget spinner. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, through a little bit of a trial and tribulation, Bob and Abishola are actually dating and seem to be in a a decent place. Oh, they're not like fully committed or anything like that. But they, they're they're going know, out. They're going out. They're dating comfortably. Is Abishola oh. being like? She's actually like mellowed out. She's okay. like thirty, right? Oh. She she being a little you know flirty. at first she was a little she little she's still, apprehensive but now yeah. she's like okay she's, she's I like loose. this guy yeah yeah giving Bob some rhythm All yeah right. yeah yeah she um so they said in the show Thank that you. um because if I break that I'll be sad Nigerian she might even are, let him Afro beat wow huh? <laughs> would you say that was that was clever <laughs> I said she might even let him Afro beat I like that um he can't catch the rhythm go ahead <laughs> <laughs> you know but they said um. Shoot that you know uh, Nigerian women are, are strong will and she you gonna she's gonna force you around and it was nice not nice but it was like to see that stereotype kind of played out and they filled it in a not a negative way okay so it was like oh like all right good job guys but there was a lot I feel like there so they his say family, a lot of like wow his family's white mm-hmm. and so they're starting to like realize that he's dating this woman and like you know a couple times they say you people. And um, you know your father. Oh, he did, yeah. They didn't have any um non-white supervisors. Yes. At the sock company that they okay. owned, and the mom was like, "Oh, well, you know." It was a different. It was time. a different time. Your father just had a preference of who he wanted. And they were like, "But it was the '90s." <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "So I'm watching it, bro. right? You have to. <laughs> right. All right, I'm gonna watch. This. I need you to." <laughs> so there was a serious moment where Bob's mother. Um, is spoiler kinda, alert! Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. spoiler alert! I know, alert I I know, I'm not gonna spoil it, but she's kind of spoil yelling. it. Nobody gives a fuck about the show. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> so she, poor thing. I can't say poor thing because it's a show, but she um ends up having a stroke. Oh, which I <sighs> even with that, I'm like, okay, so they have her playing someone who has a stroke now, but she doesn't which? actually have a stroke. So they've got her like doing this like, like droopy lip thing. Yeah. In her the show body, was wild. yeah, the show like, was wild. like, but the thing, like, you so you think of all these things, like, ah, you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't do that. The fuck, you did and, that, and you, you did it, and you added a laugh track underneath it. Mm. So the laugh track is still annoying. It's still, and it's, it's to me, I didn't care about it before. Yeah, but to hear, like, okay, the woman says to Abby Shola, I know how you people are. I know you're just da 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 da. And it, and she's like, well, you know what? I'm not going to deal with it. I'm going home, and, and they have a little exchange, and Abby Shola says something smart. And laugh track, and it's like, no, <laughs> this was a serious moment. 
Mm. You, this was your chance to Chuck Lore. This was your chance Not Chuck to, Lore. <laughs> to to capitalize on the the problem with white privilege mm, mm. in the show, and you added a laugh track because mm. that shit was really you know a lot of us either are related to or know somebody who does like in home CNA tech yeah. work, mm-hmm. and you know a lot of these old people are just disrespectful. Yes, yep. and that's exactly what happened. Like yes. he asked Abishola to help take care of his mom. And she just immediately, she's throwing stuff at her. Mm. She don't want to eat. She's being rude. Super disrespectful. And it's just like, okay. You you can't. Okay. And, and, and so an, at another point in the show, which I, I was like, you can't do that. <laughs> like, you can't do You cringe that. a lot. I cringe yeah, a lot. Cringe. Yo, you Your can't help but cringe like, the like, whole episode. You can't do, you have an ugly face. So you're like, mm, you can't do that. <laughs> So they the the lady the mom goes to Abby Shola's apartment, and they they have a little exchange and you know, whatever. And she goes, um, "Would you like to stay for dinner?" Oh, <laughs> we, I think I saw right? this in the commercial. Would you like to stay for dinner? And the lady goes, "Is that the food that I was smelling in the hallway?" And Abby Shola says, "Yes." And she goes, "No." no. <laughs> right? I was like, you, ah! "Now I'm, I think that's funny." <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Overall entertainment value of the show. It's That's, not entertaining. It's, it's not just, very high. It's, no? it's, it's, as, it's as entertaining as th- that Brad Paisley LL Cool J song is. You can't. You you have to kind of see you, it through. Like you gotta listen to the whole song. Yes. But you're like, holy yes. shit, this is bad and it's getting worse. Oh. So are you guys doing this for the sake of the pod, or are you guys? I, I'm I'm invested now. I'm 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 nosy. So yeah. and, and also and I think this might appeal to people. Um, like I'm in for a good like love story or a decent love story, mm-hmm. and and that's what they're shaping out okay. to be. Like there was a lot of resistance from Abby Shola's part, and it, it kind of makes you sympathetic to Bob. Mm. Like oh he's he's really just trying to he's be a trying. nice guy. He's yeah. trying to be a nice guy. It, it, he's trying to learn the culture. And why can't he date this girl? And why can't he? And then she starts to come around, and he tries to date her and still be himself but still learn about the culture and you can see he's he's generally interested mm. in how she is and her life and and he even says it a couple of times like, i think i know you then i know there's so much more about you that i didn't know da, da, da. and she rebuttals with i think i know you and yeah i got the big picture i got the general picture and then ha, ha, ha. so there's a cute little romantic uh element to it and you're mm. like oh okay and then everything else is just like Ah, oh, guys. It sounds like mostly his family is. Yes, just, it's his family. It's his that's, family. That's, family. that's the problematic part. Um, and there was the part where, like, like Darren said, you know, the whole no white supervisors. Um, so they decided to make a commercial. <laughs> um, and so they take Oof. the two Nigerian guys that work in the factory, Oof. and they put them in T-shirts. They say supervisor. It was, it was very cringe. Oh, yeah. It was the, like highly. Hey, yeah, and then they they put the mom in the middle. <laughs> of the two of them and you could tell like they're reading like some stupid script and then and they both say like oh dorothy and she's like you could call me mom and <laughs> yeah it was just like a commercial within a tv show and i'm still cringing yeah like, like, because the sister and the brother are like oh they basically having white guilt so yes. they're like oh yes. we are racist and he's like what do you mean we're a white family like and so the yeah it was it's a lot hmm. it, it is a lot to unpack I'll give it one more episode and, uh, <clears throat> you probably yeah. yeah yeah you probably won't like it did you say which dish you liked my thanks everyone we were back guys where are you on? again Darren did you say which dish you liked <laughs> uh I I'm so greedy mm. um give me a top three uh so I'm gonna try to be different um I like me a good um not potato salad but like a seafood salad. And we won't get it a lot of places. Mm. But when I do get it, and it's good, like a macaroni s- salad, or okay. anti- anti-pasta. Anti-pasta, yeah. Why is Jen going outside? Is she going outside? I heard the dog. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is Darling here? Um, so there's that. Um, I don't give two fucks about salad. Um, a good rice will make me happy, too. You need the rice. You need the, but I feel like I'm okay with just the rice sometimes. Okay, like a good flavored. A good flavored rice. Because sometimes there's so many things that have meat. Yes. And mac and cheese is cool, but you can't eat a lot of yes. mac and cheese. Yes. Yeah, I need some rice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I, I can think of the third. Then I, the third, I feel like I'm going to go off the reserves and, and do like a, a good pie. 
Oh, so you're on dessert now. Dessert, yeah. You you fuck with stuffing? I do love stuffing, but I haven't had a good stuffing in a while. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. a good stuffing. I can fuck what? I and it's never know. enough. It's like, never enough. If when it's good, it's somebody really bringing in that little ass. It, it, it's always like a cup, a cup of stuffing for seventeen people. <laughs> like fuck, and then you're you, you in the line getting food with people. You right. got to ration it so you ain't greedy. Uh, a good stuffing. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, godly. Yeah. Shit. Listeners, let us know what your favorite dishes are. We'd be very interested. Even if you do something different at your household, you know, we have a lot of ethnic people um, that listen to us. So, you know, Jamaicans, Dominicans, Cavertians. Yeah. Uh, interested to see what you guys make. Cause, yeah, and post uh, pictures of those spreads, actually, because yeah. I'm going to, um, I'll probably screenshot some of them and, 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 and criticize. And, yeah, and screw yeah. Nice. criticize, <laughs> criticize, <laughs> criticize. <laughs> Shit. Um, anything else? I mean, we, on, we were running, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Um, um, what I had here. Do, 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 do. Uh, Kaepernick, Kanye. Uh, and Julia Roberts. I saw that. Mm. That was really a thing. It was huh? really a thing. So someone wanted to cast Julia Roberts as Harriet F. Tubman. I don't know if they're my name begins with F to high schooler. <laughs> um, it's fine. Harriet fucking Tubman. Did they want to <laughs> cast her? As that. Good job, dude. Well done. That's that's wild. To, again, and I, I feel like it's white privilege to think. Yeah, this, this is fine. But you know what? For them, they want to sell a movie. Mm. So that's what it boils down to. That's why okay. Tom Cruise ends up being the samurai. That's why, <laughs> you know, all that shit. They want to sell a movie. Mm. Big box office. Hey, this person sold a bunch of movies the last time. We just want to. We they want to make money. They don't care about like making an accurate period piece. Yep. They want to recoup. Because I don't. For example, like I don't know if the Harriet Tubman movie did well, but if they would have casted, I'm not saying a white person, but like someone notable who brings in money, then it would have been. Uh, they want to. They want to get that bread back. Yeah. That's what it ends up being. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kaepernick had his workout. Yeah, so what the fuck? So it was supposed to be a workout with the uh, at the Atlanta Falcons right, facility. Um, but he ended up the day before saying he wants it to be at a high school. And then I saw his interview afterwards. He was talking shit? He was, uh, it was weird. Like, it was a weird energy. Like, if you agree to do a workout, you would think you want a job mm-hmm. on a team. Mm-hmm. But the way he was kind of talking was like as if, yeah, niggas. I did this now. So now what? You know what I'm saying? Like it was that kind of energy. Like he didn't say that, but he was like, "Now the ball's in your court." Twenty three team, whatever. Like whatever he was saying, I was like, "You don't sound like you sound like an agitator." Mm. Like I don't know if a coach or GM would say, "Yeah, that's the guy. Let's bring him on to lead the team as the quarterback." Like it was a weird energy that he gave off after the workout. So I'm really confused at what Cap was trying to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. You left. Um, and shout out to H because that, that was the only way I kind of was kept keeping up with the the whole situation. It did it did seem weird. That was yeah. very weird. Uh, it was very odd energy that yeah. he was giving off. I don't know. I haven't had a chance to watch the videos, but Darling was keeping me up. And um, he was saying, I guess there was a waiver. Yeah. That needed to be signed, but they changed the waiver from the standard waiver. Yeah. For him. And so it was one of those things where, like, if he was to sign it, kind of putting himself into a weird position and normally these workouts are on Tuesdays and it was on a Saturday and it was like, yeah it was like there was other things about it that yeah. just didn't line up on both sides it was weird it, it was, was like weird on both sides, yeah. it was like NFL was doing it all right we're doing it just cuz but here's all these weird things and then for him he did it it's like I right. I'm gonna do it but I'm going to be as um defensive almost as yeah, possible it was, it was weird I don't know I don't like it Nobody, nobody, well, the NFL ends up winning, unfortunately, because it's like, hey, he got his workout. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I did my duty. Yeah, so some folks are like, all right, I'm going to watch football now. <clears throat> and so it's. You I've know. known some people who have had unemployment um, that they were collecting from a job, right? Mm-hmm. Where it was like, okay, if you get a new job, but your new job doesn't pay you as much as what we paid you, okay, we'll pay you the difference. Really? I've had employees like that. Oh, shit. So they're like, okay, well, Jen, don't give me that many hours because either way I'm going to still get paid. Mm. And that's what this feels like. You know what I mean? It's like Because he's okay still. He's going to get paid regardless. Yeah. So he's like, I don't really care if I get picked up. Yeah. I don't really. Think I so? mean, yeah. I mean, that's what it feels like. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. Not, he's not desperate for the money. No, he's no, not yeah, desperate yeah. for anything. He's already got his clout. He's got his credibility. He's got his point across. Mm. 
he's got money. Mm. Nike's paying him, so it's kind of like. Fuck what, now? what you doing this now for? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, like it's like if yeah. y'all if y'all hire me, cool. If you don't, I'm not gonna suck your dick for it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bow and do all this other shit and and kiss your ass for it. So, but then to me, it's like why do the workout? Because because they offer football is the ultimate team sport, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> when you go on, especially at the quarterback position, it's like you are now the leader mm-hmm. of everyone. <clears throat> With that attitude, like hey, I could do it, I could not do it, I don't care. Nobody's gonna want to bring you in, so why even waste? Why waste people's time? Because, it, but it's not about him wasting people's time because it wasn't his idea. The NFL oh, the, came to him with oh. this, right? So if they came to him with this less than a week before the thing, yeah. it's like you didn't even give him chance to work out. Really, I mean, yeah, he well, says he said he's, been, he's working been, out. been ready, three right? Years he says he's been working out, yeah. but if it's like week eleven, no one's really looking for a quarterback with seven weeks, eight weeks left in the season. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's kind of like. Hmm. Yeah. Speaking of, oh, this weekend, Pat's Cowboys. Fuck that, Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz, wow. part two, boxing. To this day, to this day, Cowboys, Darren, do you, you Cowboys Pat's is no, a big deal. I was, I was gonna try to add like, oh, fuck that, and give me something about. Oh, you got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. Uh, two kids, <laughs> two kids, uh, uh, two four, kids. four kids, <laughs> four kids. Yeah. Four, I got all four of them. This but weekend. um, yeah, Pat's Cowboys is a big deal. They play once every four years, and there, I feel like. In Dallas, there are just as many Pats fans as, as Cowboys fans, and I feel like here there are just as many Cowboys fans as Pats fans. Cowboys fan, fans travel well; they're everywhere. They're yes. strong, yes. and same thing with Pats fans. It's America's yeah. team, huh? It's America's team. America's oh, the team. battle for America! Look at y'all. Yeah, because mm. four years ago when they last played in Dallas, Christine and I went down there. You did. We did oh, shit. it was a big deal, and but when we went, I felt like. I was amongst my people. It was mm. like literally 50 50 Pats fans, Cowboys fans. And we were like, all right, in the next four years when they play again, because it's every four years, we're going to go see them in Gillette, even though we all know as much as I'm a Pats fan, I hate Pats fans and I don't want to go to Gillette. Yeah. Um, it's cold. And yes. And we've been stalking tickets and the tickets prices have been crazy from the moment they announced yeah. the date, November 24th. Um, and so we finally just accepted that we weren't going to go. And now today she texted me that. Ticket prices are going down. And I've seen a couple other people posting on Facebook saying ticket prices are going down. I'm surprised it wasn't sold out. I mean, people had tickets, but I guess, you know, it's like reseller tickets. And yeah. so I'm kind of like nervous because it's supposed to rain Sunday. And I Thug just, it out. It's, it's an experience. Just, it's, 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 it's an experience. Just, I'm like, yo, we could have bottles and chicken wings and be comfortable and warm. But You could do that experience. for every other game. Yeah. yeah. No, no, really. Look at her. <laughs> we, so me and the wife went to a Pats game before. How'd you go? Um, I mean, how did you feel? The experience, I mean, you know, I don't, I'm not a super big Pats fan. Even at the time, I think I was kind of into the Pats. Um, the experience alone was amazing. And we had like nosebleed seats. Mm-hmm. And it was like January, Electric. January 4th. <gasps> it was, it was fu- like our, our, the phone, when you took a picture, it said, I can't do this. I'm too cold. Like mm-hmm. it literally said, I, yes. I, yeah. And, um, I hate being cold. But to see when they score a touchdown, to see, People throwing snow and and, and oh cheering. Oh my god, that just sounds like <laughs> it such sounds a it, yo, time. it sounds terrible. But I t- when you're there, you're like, wow. And you'll be fine. Wow, just, you'll just layer up, layer and, up. And well, you, I mean, it's November. It's not that, it's not that cold. Not, not be, compared to when we went. You get to be amongst <clears throat> people when you get yes, indie face. So she's getting married. So we talked Who about is? my friend. Get out. So we Congrats. talked about. Doing this as DJ? like a pre bridal shower, pre bachelor, right? Something me and her, ah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's why it's a big deal. Do it. So, are because, you in her wedding? Because it's, no, I'm not in her wedding. Oh, okay. So, because it's her thing, you know what I mean? Go you know, she gets home. to choose, like, yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah. got to sit on the pad side or the cowboy side? And I'm like, yeah. I'm sitting on the cowboy side. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, a, it's a whole experience for her. So, it's important to her. So, if she wants to go, we'll go, yeah. obviously. And you can move around. You don't have to, wherever you sit, I mean, you could get closer seats and, like, really be in the warmth of Jenna getting up. of she, love. She no, you, you'd right have there. to get up. You you really, if, if you you're going to. You have to move around, right? Because it's, it's cold. I'm so scared of being cold. But, You'll be fine. So but it's scared of being cold. Don't, don't let it's, that deter. It's worth it. I will tell you tips. Uh, wherever you park, try to park as close to the entrance as possible. Oh, yeah. Because it's it a fucking troop from where we parked to 
all the way inside and doing I, that shit cold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've not, only not gone fun. to one game at Gillette and it was a preseason game, and even that it was just like it was hard to get out. Yeah, I know the traffic's gonna be. Yep, leave stupid. leave before leave stupid. before it ends. I know people don't want to really do that. No, I can't and, do and that. And if it's a Cowboys pass game, I'm it's gonna be it's gonna be a, gonna be a tight game. Yeah, you can't leave before it's over. <laughs> I will leave before it's over. Well, if you're actually into it, you can't bounce. I guess. But, know, I, but what I said to her is, we should watch this game somewhere warm and like have a Cowboys pass party. And then in four years again, go back to Dallas. Dallas was beautiful. Their stadium is, I mean, it looks. Shenny and Wally went there. It's yeah. dope on TV, but in person, it is magnificent. Hmm. Like, if you can go to the Cowboy Stadium, yeah. You should go. You should. I, I really would ex- rather The not. experience, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'd rather just go to another it's game. Yeah. It's but I feel like for this game, we need to watch the game. Yeah. yeah. We need to be. You can't be, like, worried about being cold or. But Traffic and yeah. buying $15 dollar beers. Like, I, wanna, yeah. I want us, because we haven't watched the game together all season, which we used to watch every game. I mean, I want Look what happens when somebody gets a man. First of all, she's the one who's engaged, not me. I was talking about her. Right. Look, 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 look. Defense. Defense. Why are you yelling? He's like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Jen. No. <laughs> said, first of all, whoa, hey, yeah, sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I like the way you came at me. But, um, yeah, like, I feel like this game, we need to be somewhere and really be comfortable TV, and be. let the cameras give us the best view possible, and then we can watch some other game. Right. Right. But I don't know. So I'm, I told her whatever she wants to do. So I know she's stalking tickets right now. Christine, bring her. <laughs> Take her. Um, See if there's anything else. Follow us on social media platform. Yeah. P L S D L T H I S. On Twitter, the same handle. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. Uh, we recently put up, well, I can't say we. Bim. We, we, Bim. we, we. Bim. We. Care of Bim recently put up our When Stars Line uh, video that we were in the building for. Where we, uh, you can see the different interviews and Shout us walking Chip. around. Shout out to Chip and all the people that in, uh, let us interview them. Hartnarai, Narai, Boxana, uh, Angel. Uh, T. Dyer and all that good stuff. Uh, it was, it's a it's a great video. You will be entertained. It's not too long. It's very minutes. engaging. Yep, mm-hmm. very engaging. Brother Bim did an excellent job editing. We uh, <clears throat> we did a we as in Bim did a good job editing. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure you uh, subscribe, share, and listen on listen. your favorite <laughs> podcast uh, streaming platform: Spotify, Speaker, uh, iTunes Radio, YouTube, Heart Radio. Watch the video. Um, all that good stuff. Um, uh, something else is gonna sing. Uh, don't forget about Thanksgiving uh, basket if you want to be a part and donate to the cause. Uh, definitely send us a DM or hit one of us up. Uh, text message if you have the number. If you don't, don't bother because we're not gonna respond. Uh, and even if you can't do it with us, I mean, you, yes. everybody knows somebody who needs help. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you yes. know, you can help out somebody around you. You don't have to give them a basket. You can get them no. a gift card to stop a shop. Exactly. I mean, they might just need help getting some fixings. Yeah. Whatever, you know, just yes. do what you can to help. Yes. Show sure enough. Uh, so so make sure you do that. Um, we are we recording next week? Uh, I Ooh, feel like shit. we should. Thursday is Thanksgiving. Yeah, I feel like we should. Mm, that's gonna be a tough one. We'll figure it we'll out. We'll do it on yeah. Thanksgiving Eve, if anything. Yeah, we'll do that's gonna be tough. Yeah, that's tough, tough too. All, it's tough all the way. Yeah, I have the kid with me. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Bring him on the pod. You have the boy with you? Yeah, next bring week. Him on the pod. Bring him on the pod. I bring my eldest. You bring your eldest. And oh, kid pod. Think... Oh, we'll talk about it next week. I, I Darren, I have a question for you. Quickly. Remember we were in high school? Yes. The end. <laughs> Tenth grade, mm-hmm. I became class president. Yes. Hey, you did. I think the following year or the year before that. I don't remember which one it was. I ran for president. I think I ran for president all four years. I don't know. But I only won once. I feel like the year I lost, you didn't vote for me. Am I, am I making that no, up? No, I definitely did vote. Is this guy didn't vote for you. That's not it true. Was you? Who I voted for then, Darren? If you want to What do y'all vote for, Adam? Vote. Hell no, I didn't vote for Adam. What I, do y'all did? Come on, I wouldn't vote for Adam. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I'm cool with Adam, but I definitely wouldn't. Did vote. you lose by one vote? No, I, I didn't lose by many, though. And I feel like one of my close friends didn't vote for That's me. That's true. Was I, not I. If I voted, I voted for Jen. There's no yeah, way I yeah. would not vote for Jen. There's not, yeah. Vote for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. We'll, we'll figure it out. I feel like it was Ronald, maybe. <laughs> no. Wasn't right. I definitely would have voted. I definitely not would have, but like I definitely voted for you. Oh, I don't Jen, remember. Jen has great memory. She, she pointed does. at you, brother. <laughs> I just felt like I felt triggered when I thought about it, and I was like, uh, I feel like Darren didn't vote for me that, that year I lost. Yeah, how can uh, I not vote for I Jen? I feel like the year I won, you voted for me, but the year I lost, I think you didn't. I don't see why I wouldn't, but. Hmm. Who ran against you? Was it another black woman? Nah. No. 
It was Adam. It was you. Uh, it was you, you, just Julia? you and Adam, like for the majority of the time. Yeah, no, I, I think pretty all the all the people of color were on your side. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! It was one person who wasn't. I can't remember who it was. Mm. I was like, what? What was track? Probably Ramon. <laughs> 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 Come on, <laughs> wrap it up. <laughs> this, he does the lead, lead from the camera. So happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Hey, no, uh, yes, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> We're if recording you, next week. If you get it, but Are they we? won't hear this. They won't hear it. They don't be with their families and shit. They won't. You know what I mean? So if you get in the fours this weekend, like myself, which fours? What does? Huh? What the? What the fours? There's two different shoots. Oh, what? I did see that. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? I'm so excited. Huh? Fuck. I just bought another pair of Ultra Boost. And I just. Him. I got them on sale, $76. Mm, that's fine. Oh, okay. But. What? Never mind. What then? Because I can't walk? <laughs> My left shoe be clean as shit. People in wheelchairs <laughs> wear sneakers. Real quick, I know we're super over time. April. <laughs> oh, we didn't even get to talk about that topic. No. We didn't talk about any of the topics. No. Thank you to everybody who responded and gave us topics. We just yes. completely was talking we about just bacon. Omitted the whole time. most of it. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll get to it next week. That's, real, that's why no one contributes. Real, real quick. <laughs> right. Real quick. Darren though. got beef. Go ahead, Darren. I got beef for April. April sent us uh, a video of a gentleman. I believe he's a celebrity. As well, no, no. But so what, tell, say what her Instagram is, yo. Out her. I don't know her Instagram. Well, no, I, like I got you. Hold on. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Hi, B. Um, so <clears throat> she sent us this black love clip. Uh, this gentleman uh, married to a black woman, a uh, light skinned black woman at that. And he says, What? It's true. Uh, what? She's not? I can't say that. I didn't say she was like Jewish or something. Like, so <laughs> whatever. So, so he says, uh, They live together with their four kids and his ex wife. And uh, they talk about a little bit and the the wife ends up saying uh yes the husband was gone for about seven months stretch and she had just had a baby and if it wasn't for the ex-wife being in the house to help her out she would know what she would do god bless right and april said y'all should talk about this i asked she? if darren's ex-wife would be down for that and i i didn't <laughs> i was funny Shout out to it was April. Fun. It, it was funny. It was, it was, it was funny. A I constant left. listener, contributor yes. to the podcast. Uh, Did uh, you vote for me, April? <laughs> <laughs> her, her Instagram is truly blessed underscore to be me. Yes. The number two, the letter B. Oh, wow. M E. Oh, wow. You're doing all that. Send Why not? Send it for Darren listeners, uh, Darren like, supporters. Darren Hive. Uh, Darren, Darren, Darren Hive. <laughs> that didn't even sound right. It's a bunch of lazy ass people. <laughs> Uh, attack her right now, right now, right now. Uh, yeah. Who, who got the bigger hive? You. No. Nah. That's a dumb question. Well, man. I don't have a hive. Bim doesn't have a hive. The beehive for real. The beehive. <laughs> the nah. beehive for we know nah, the real hive. Only, there's only one. Beehive. No, Gen, Gen Hive. hive. No, Darren, how? There's no way. Beehive. What is he talking? What's we'll talk about? Because he knows something I don't know. <laughs> Anybody who's in the beehive and the D hive. Let them know. I'm going to post the poll They think it's just a Gen Hive. No, no, don't put it because that's going to kill my self-esteem. Everybody. My shit will be zero. I quit. I swear to God. Listen, I don't care. Hold on. Listen to me. Listen to me. If Darren does a stupid poll, I need at least one person to vote for me. I'm like, I got you, baby. I can't trust her. If if I get zero percent, I swear for God. Yo, I got you. I swear for God, I'm quitting this podcast. I'm part of the Beehive, yo. Well, you Wait. can't vote. Why, Why can't I? We can't vote what on our own shit. <laughs> I'm over 18. Oh, yeah, the president can't vote, right? I registered to vote. <laughs> All right, never mind. Fine. Barack voted for himself. <laughs> You're right. All right, never mind. Fuck it. I guess I won't quit. Beehive. <laughs> Gen hive. There's no way. And then whatever hive I am. No one comes up to me. People come up to y'all like, yo. Nobody comes up to me. You're lying. No <laughs> one comes after me. No. Yes. Right, guys, Anymore. we have to go. Sorry. Well, look at what we argue about. <laughs> <laughs> guys, have a good weekend. We'll talk to you next week. Yeah. Peace. Happy Thanksgiving.